All right, three, two, one. Action. Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the Revival House stream, baby. We got Mortal Kombat Defenders of the Earth. Fuck yeah. Alright, so there's still a bit of a lag, right? So I, that's just something I have to get used to. Sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> kind of like go. when Zach plays and he's like, Oh yeah, if you hit the live on the Facebook, <clears throat> if you hit that red live, it should connect you, sync you a little bit, like, close. Kind of like YouTube does. Okay. Well, I'm going to pull up the stream on my phone so I can keep it backlit on my monitor. So what's what's this one? When did this mutant come out? Uh, 2020, baby. Fucking pumping them out daily. New mutants. Yeah, they're dude. They're constantly like bringing out new ones. Like they'll even update them and then throw like a new character or like they'll change like their fatalities and shit. Um, let's see. Does it look okay? Uh, yeah, it looks fine. Um, so, let me just check. Yeah, it looks clear. Uh, I think... Yep, I'm in the left, you're in the right. I can see the screen really well. Let me... Just getting my shit looking okay for me. Come on. Alrighty. All right. Well, I think I mean I'm ready to go. Things look great for me. So what's new? What's different about this one that sets it apart? Is it balanced or is it broken as shit? I can't hear you if you're talking. Sorry, I had it paused. I was saying, like, I know that they just they updated, like, the backgrounds, everything. They're pretty much, like, they look more realistic, and they, they're, like, more animated. So they just look, they just look, like, very, like, polished and cleaned up. Um, it's stuck on a screen. Hold on. I don't know why it won't take it off. Like, I'm in the game playing, and you guys are still stuck on the other screen. Let me see. <clears throat> Daily challenge. There we go. <clears throat> All right, that's much better. Can you see it? <clears throat> you good? Yeah. I see it at the towers. All right, cool. <clears throat> so I these to, towers, uh, I, have you pl have you spent any time with this one before I've, this? I literally just downloaded it right before we started. Oh, okay. So I have no idea what's to, like, I still need to go through the system, see? <laughs> Here we go. What? Here we go. Here we go. I'm trying to change the settings. Oh, they had it on easy. Let's see. Let's do this real quick. All right. Is anyone talking? <clears throat> No, there's nobody on the chat yet. No. That's all right. Let's just rock and roll. Uh, just share it. Or uh, hold on, I can do that. Yeah, go for it. Uh, 
For some reason, my arm, like, it doesn't want to, like, let you tap anything. Um, when I hit R2, it, like, wants to go through every single one of them. See? <clears throat> it keeps resetting. It's pissing me off. Left, right. Low punch. Block. Oh, I like how they did this. Like, they just had the numbers on the right and the other one, and now they actually have what it is, so you can change it to that. I like that. God damn, dude. Up, down, left, right. There we go. Awesome. All right. Well, I'd like to see you beat the game, beat a tower. I don't know how hard it's going to be, so I don't know which tower we should go for. It's probably going to be hard as fuck. I don't think any of these are easy. I'm about to find out. Well, I don't know, because it was set to, like, easy, I guess. But I changed it. I mean, that's relative. <clears throat> we'll see. You could always try it, uh, try it out on max difficulty just to see how hard it is, and we could always back out. I'm going to put it again in the Discord. Okay. All right. Let's kind of go through. Oh, you're not. That was a demo. I want to go through the menu select screen. Just kind of see who all we're working with here. None of these Mugens, they do that annoying shit where they time out and they limit you. Like when to select your character, do they? What was that? I'm saying none of these uh, Mugens, they don't time you out. when you're. Oh, did you already select your character? No, it's not. It's I told you, it's is fucking it being demo. weird. It's, yeah, it's like a, on demo mode, but my shit's not letting me play. Look at this shit, though. Oh. Dude, what the fuck is it doing? Like, I am having, like, all this shit randomly pop up. It's fucking pissing me off. I don't want my Steam up. Why are you up? I mean, have you watched people actually stream this? Have they reported any issues with it? Do they were they doing it okay? Hold on. It's like not letting me use the keyboard. There we go. God damn, man. Let me change some things. Wonder how fast the game gets. You can adjust the speed. All right, here we go. Here we go. Single. We do versus arcade. So look how beautiful this looks like. Well, Fucking it looks like it's taken the series dude, seriously. I it know. looks like well, because the yeah, the, let's look the menu. It seems to be all MK characters, and it's not overly congested with a bunch of fluff characters. And there's no uh, Razor Ramon or fucking Sagat thrown in here. You know, they just get real wacky. Can we kind of go through the roster? Yeah. So we got Sub Zero. This looks like custom scorpion. art so far, dude. It's it's fucking awesome. Like, yeah, this is all like. Just new artwork, new pictures. Well, yeah, that's Fucking cool. Ermac yeah. looks dope. Like, is that tr is that Tremor next to Scorpion there? Uh, right here. Yeah. So we got no, Tremor. It's, it's, like, oh, is that Ermac? That's Ermac, not Tremor. Yeah. No. What are you talking about? Ripped. Oh yeah, right I here. That... Oh okay. Oh, it looks it looks cool. 
Reptile. Like I said before, uh, if you're like a little delayed, hit the live button and see if it turns red, and it'll catch you up. Well, I mean, it's it's already red. So you mean you t you talking about on the Facebook? Yeah. Yeah, it's already. Yeah, I can't okay. click it. It just says it's blinking red. Okay. It's fine. So we, I'll just let you go through and talk about them, and like when you're done, I'll just move over. Okay, so Noob Cybot looks pretty rad. Who was that right before Noob Cybot? Fucking Tremor, dude. Oh, that was Tremor? Yeah, okay, dude. so move on. I'm guessing that's Smoke mm -hmm. with his flowing locks. I so, never liked that new <clears throat> Smoke look from MK9. You didn't like I, it? I, I, know, I like I that he like, longer hair. Uh, I think it looks kind of... It's the only bad design of the game, in my opinion. I know I'm in the minority, though. People like him. I'm guessing that's Melina next to him. I mean, you didn't really have any like ninjas with longer hair. They were all... You just don't know. I don't know. He just looked a little too Japanime mm -hmm. for the game. It didn't really fit. So then you so got locked more... characters in here too, because to the right, oh, I can't that's get rain. to that. Thought... Oh, After really? rain, so that's, see him. That's Blaze. Yeah, that's Blaze. He's locked. Yeah, uh, that's Cyber Smoke below him. I'm guessing Hydro. Sub, sub yeah, Sub Zero. That's Sub Zero. All the, all the cyborgs. Okay, all yeah, the you cyborgs. get all the you get all the cyborgs. You could tell that they wanted every ninja, every cyborg, fucking, and then like unlike, some of the unlike MK11, where they didn't give us any yeah, cyborgs. Yeah, fucking care. Cyber noob, what is that? Who's that? Is that smoke? Okay, Dramen for some reason, and then Rico's right next to him. Smoke, I see yeah. Baraka. I see Baraka. I don't know who that is next to Baraka. Fucking is that Sub Zero, like, uh, man, and Riku. Rico. Okay, Dramen, Rico, Baraka, but that fucking, is it unmasked. Oh, okay. Got your boy Raiden, fucking Kung Lao. I always wanted them to throw in like the first Kung Lao, like before fucking Liu Kang. Mm -hmm. The one that actually defeated the the first tournament. Oh, the great Kung Lao, yeah. They should put him yeah, in here. That, like, you don't see that. You never see that. I'm kind of surprised he never got incorporated, especially when they did all this time travel bullshit. All right, they brought so back Kung a Lao. scorpion. They couldn't bring back fucking Kung Lao. Liu Kang. Yeah, maybe mm -hmm. he's what the... They, well, Kung Lao lost to Goro, so how great is he? Right. All right, so Liu Kang, Fujin looks is fucking that, is, dope. Is that just a randomizer in the middle? Okay. Yeah, that's a random. And I'm guessing uh, I don't. Is that Scarlet next to Fujin? Fucking Nightwolf. Oh, I I'm looking yeah. off a little. Can't tell. Zoom in. Go big. I've got it set up to where I have enough white screen. I've got it uh, partitioned out. Is that uh, Haru or whatever the fuck his name is next to Nightwolf? What's that guy's name? The wind? The, not the Hotaru? wind. Hotaru. Hotaru. Is that it? That generic mm -hmm. Fujin lookalike? Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you got fucking Johnny Cage down here looking like fucking... <laughs> Dope. Who is the rando next to Johnny Cage? I don't recognize that guy. Shang Tsung, maybe? Kano. Is that what oh. you're talking about? You didn't yeah, see I that little razor Kano. eye? Or I can't laser? see it. Can't. Okay. But like I, I like the artwork. It's fucking awesome. All right. So and then I'm guessing Cabal, and then we got Striker, and we got Jax. Uh, I, that looks more like Cassie Cage, but I'm sure it's Sonya with the glasses. Uh, that's Cass. That's got to yeah. be Cassie. I don't know There's who it is. Scarlet. Who that? That's Sonya. Okay, is Cassie in this? Is I don't Cassie think that so. below? Or is that? Oh, That's is that Tanya. Serena? There's yeah. Serena <clears throat> and S Serena, Sindel, Tanya. Oh yeah, Serena. Guess, yeah, the far she was, right. Wasn't there. she from Mythologies? Yeah, she was in Mythologies, and she was played by the same actress that played Sindel. Yeah, same actress. And then I guess that's the bosses down below. Quan Chi. You got Kintaro, Shao Kahn, Goro, and I don't recognize who that is. The black character. On the far left bottom row. Who is that? They won't let me check them. Oh, okay. So, all right. Well, I don't know. Pick whoever you want to pick. I'm kind of curious to see. Whatever you want. Go with Tremor. Hell yeah. So, like, also pay attention to, like, the backgrounds. Because they move and, like. Mm, zoom in and out and stuff. They fucking, I don't know. Just kind of like the clouds back behind this uh, screen. Like, they definitely cleaned it up, so, like, it's just artwork style looking. 
It's really the thumbnails clean. look. The, th the thumbnails look great. Yeah. Why would they put drama in this? I don't know. They they throw him in like every single one of them. I guess he must be like a Mugen favorite or Mugen. He looks extra homoerotic in this one. Though. <laughs> I can't fucking dude. I can't get past this motherfucker. He's fucking. It, <laughs> it looks cool. Some of these Mugens that seem to have. Uh, you know, respected the franchise and taking themselves seriously. They they kind of look like what I think Mortal Kombat 4 should have been. Like, had it stayed 2D and it just got more advanced. Mm -hmm. I kind of wish they would make a new Mortal Kombat in this style. Like, 2D, but a 9, you know, eight, eight, five. But he's getting really cheated. Alright, well, I mean, that's all I got. Detroit Ray. Right. Dogs. Bye -bye, Detroit Ray. Right. We going. We Trying to find the stream, I can't find it. I mean, I'm watching it. All right, you can answer too. Is anyone talking? No, I'm the only one watching it. All right. God damn it! It's, I mean, it's possible. I don't think we've ever done this on a Monday. It could be a really shit day and time. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna share it real quick. Oh, I thought you already did. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, share it. With your legions of followers. He <laughs> did. Oh yeah, sure. Oh, fuck. And this is the easiest mode that you're struggling with? Uh, I put it on medium. Okay. But it was on easy one. Titty fucked me up. I don't know. It's more artworky. Like, I kind of wonder where they got his sprite from. He kind of almost looks like he came from a wrestling game or something. I mean, if it's too much, it's kind. I kind of wish that they would have made it like the characters look like they're fucking, like, choosing screens out here. Yeah, I mean, maybe try one more sort Kramer of. Kramer didn't really. He just looked like Scorpion. He didn't I mean, have if that the outfit. Oh okay. Oh really? Like that the sucks. outfit right here. Yeah, you didn't notice that. Like it's he doesn't just, look it's like just brown. That. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> Oh yeah, I guess for a second I thought you were just scorpion. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. lame. That's false advertising. Right. It looked cool though. I mean, this is the original Tremor design, to be fair. Yeah. Right, and uh, yep. he made his first appearance in Jack's MK Special Forces. That Did terrible he really? game. Yeah, that's where he first See, came never, from. He, I never played that. My cousin got it, and I never watched him play it. It's terrible. I mean, you can't really yeah. get much worse as far as games goes. And it, and it was disowned by Ed Boon. I mean, they didn't work on I it. I mean, even Mythologies wasn't good, but I mean, just from being so... I don't know. It was hit and miss with me. Like, it's really fucking hard to play. Yeah, because they were trying to make an action platformer with a fighting game's control mechanics. Was, so the... the this, uh, what do you... The cameras like, and shit were weird. Like, side-scroller like, slash sometimes not. I don't know. But but it's supposed to be a side-scrolling action game, but they were programming it like a fighting game. So, you know, the characters, the enemies would jump behind you, and you couldn't turn around, so they would just be kicking your ass. You have one guy in front of you, one guy behind you, just beating the fuck out of you. And it just doesn't work. I think there could have been a good game there, you know, mm -hmm. if uh, the right people made it or it came out at the right time period. I never played right. Shallow Monks. I mean, I know people like that one. 
I know people are clamoring for an HD remake, and they have been. Whoa, this is weird. Oh, here we go. I think it wouldn't let me look for his moves. Where is it, Steve? I played, I played uh, <laughs> Special Forces, and to me, it played kind of like a wannabe Metal Gear Solid. Because it was over right. the head ang angle, just like the original MGS, like Bird's Eye View. And, you know, it was... I don't know, just sort of that gameplay. Grappling and shooting and mis rocket launchers and just over the head. It just, But it just wasn't very good. But that's where Tremor came from. Because you were going after Kano and he had his cronies and they were like all the sub-bosses before it got to Kano. And, and he was the, I want to say, I think he was the only one that had any life outside of that game. I remember one of the, one of the cronies in it was some like chameleon spider-man knockoff called no face what he looked just like chameleon that. from spider-man yeah he had a whole bunch what of cronies that? that was in what that was special forces oh, okay you know uh i remember when they were first talking about special forces like it was in production you were supposed to be able to play as Jax and sonya and it sounded a lot cooler but i guess it had like zero budget by the end of the day and they were limited on time what the hell that just looked like Shao Kahn blowing up in part two. All right, now. So, so if it's too if it's too hard, gimp it, gimp the difficulty. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I I just kind of want to beat a tower, at right. least. I kind of want to see you play as uh, one of the bosses, Let Shao Kahn or Kentaro, after you change the difficulty. Back out of it real quick. That artwork of Jax kind of reminds me of Axel from Twisted Metal 2, and it makes me want them to remake that stuff. Give it the uh, Tony Hawk treatment. Here we go. For some reason, it won't let me back out until I get to, like, the tower. All right. Let's see. And that was the easiest, right? You just yeah. easy. Mm -hmm. All right. Do yeah, you should try a, try a boss character. Okay. After this, I still can't get over how they made uh, Rico. Is it Rico? Okay. Rico. It's R Rico. Like in the movie, you know, he looks so it, stupid. But it's funny how. I watched tons of YouTubers call this motherfucker Ryko, but it, in the actual arcade game, in the game, it's like, why not just go off what they, in yeah, the they announcer, they, in the four? they call, they, they call him Ryko. Yeah. It's like, so why is everybody calling him Ryko if it's, there's never been an iteration of this game where they didn't right. verbally have the announcer say Ryko. Do you notice anything about this level? Yeah, it's from MK, it's the squid level. Nine? MK 10, 10. 10. Yeah. Yeah, it's, X. dude. no, it's pretty cool. Pretty yeah. cool how I did it. But look at the background. Look at everything. Like the ambient light back there in the sun. Mm -hmm. Or maybe that's like fire. I don't know. But it looks cool. No, it's it looks really cool. Smooth. Look at it. Like they yeah, it makes definitely me... upped the sound effects. Where did they get... Is that is that just... where? Did they... How do they make some of these sprites? Because I don't know where they came from. If they, if they came from... You know, if they customized already existing sprites from other games, he kind of looks like Rain and Reptile, right? He's got the stance, right? Mm -hmm. From MK Ultimate MK3. It's like the ninjas so, were easy; they could they just copy pasted, change the outfit. Well, yeah, it actually like, looks like some of these characters. It, I'm not sure they might have just took a character well, this, and like did some fucking iPad shit on them. If if you look at it closely, he does look like he does look like the like reptile and rain UM K three, the size of his vest and his stance and his legs. Maybe they like airbrushed out his lines That's and what stuff. I'm saying. And, like, yeah. yeah. His face looks really goofy right here when he looks forward. Kinda looks like unmasked sub zero. Like maybe he was yeah, a basis yeah, yeah. or something. Which I always thought the unmasked sub zero John Turk in the MK three game was so silly. I, I mean, they got as you didn't like they got him? An Amer No, I I, I, thought he was I actually well, at first I was, I was mad. 
because I like the ninja version. I was like, what the fuck is this? No, no, no. I actually grew to really like him. Oh, yeah. this is sweet. Yeah. This is, but, I mean, it's funny, though, when you think about it. They got... The actor they got to play him was, mm -hmm. in a, like, a white American as apple pie bodybuilder playing Sub-Zero from China. Hmm. There's nothing... Nothing about him looks Chinese. Right. So it was kind of it was kind of weird. Uh, you notice this background too? Yeah, of course. It's the uh, fucking from the Hall, first Hall game, of right? Champions. Hall of Champions. Yeah, which is funny That's because so, in the first like, game, why in the first game was there a stage called the Hall of Champions dedicated to people that were just now competing in the tournament? Right. You know what I mean? Like, why why do they already have these statues erected and carved of themselves? Right. And it's where's so where's weird. Kung Lao? The great yeah, Kung you would Lao. think you would think the Hall of Champions would have prior it, goro makes sense it's and they pretty get, much like, the, just saying the champions that won to go to the tournament probably i don't fucking know but it i mean it would have like, been cool it it would have been cool if it had goro of course it would have had the great kung lao and you know maybe even in the first game you had a statue of of young shang song before he was old just cool shit like that all right but i, I didn't really think about that stuff as a kid i don't i always liked Re he was like my favorite in four I yeah, I, that game, um, man. I like I like Rico. I like Fujin. I'm trying to think, I people Tanya kind of keeps coming back, but I I I don't I don't like she, her. She never she never did anything for me. Yeah, um, and everyone's like Serena Tanya, Tanya, and I'm like, what? Kai Why? sucks. Kai sucks dick. Pretty much everyone but Rico and fucking Quan Chi and Fool. Yeah, I felt I felt like they were positioning oh, Kai to be. I, f I feel like they're positioning Kai to be like a new Liu Kang in that fourth game. No, oh, uh, I forgot all about that person. Yeah, did you ever play Mortal Kombat Gold? It's like basically Ultimate mm -hmm. MK4. Mm -hmm. Wasn't it on the uh... Dreamcast exclusively? Yeah, I was so mad when that happened. I, I, I had wanted it. one so bad, and I never, I never, I never had a Dreamcast. I had it on Dreamcast. That was like the only I, one I, my parents wouldn't let me have. Yeah. Well, I, my mom brought it home one day because this is when it, the system had tanked and they were clearancing them out at Toys R Us. She came home with a Dreamcast and just a stack of games she was getting for nothing. And these are all games that would go for a lot of money now. I mean, she bought them for... She came home with a Dreamcast and Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, um, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, uh, Mortal Kombat Golds, Marvel vs. Capcom 1 and 2... Mm -hmm. Uh, Code Veronica, dude. It was just, I mean, there was only so many games, right? And it was just the be all end all of all the Dreamcast games. And she, I, I want to say, she told me she spent a hundred dollars for everything, under a hundred dollars. So, and it was pretty sweet, and I, I loved it. Um, uh, oh, and then like, I'm trying to think. Crazy Taxi was in that list. N Nightmare Creatures two, um, those are the big ones. I, I think there was definitely a couple of more. Oh, Tony Hawk, the first one. Not the second one, unfortunately, but I she got me Tony Hawk on that, and that was cool. So I always played the Dreamcast version of Tony Hawk. That's the Tony Hawk I know. Yeah, I never had one. Uh, I, uh, it's a great system. I well, wanted, I, didn't they put Killer Instinct out for it, too, or am I just thinking that? No, no, no they didn't. I thought they did. It, I think I always got that and Mortal Kombat Gold mixed up, thinking that they put out... I always called it Killer Instinct Gold. And everyone's like, what the hell are you talking about? Killer Instinct Gold is on N64. Yeah, Killer KI Gold is a thing. They come. Oh, shit. Oh, What's we got up, Zach. Guys? I thought you were babysitting. Fucking, uh, well, it turns out fucking, uh, she needed me to babysit tomorrow. But fucking, she, she texted me well over midnight, but I read it before I'd gone to sleep. And I'm very <laughs> low T. I, I, I have the human hours are not a thing I abide by, but I, I'm pretty stressed out right now. Anyway, I don't know what? if you want me to jump on the camera or if it's set up like oh, that, or I can just stay voice. Do you want to? What do you want to do? You're, you're um, talking, whichever, talk, whichever you're talking you want. To, why do you sound like Stone Cold Steve Austin right now? Are you out of breath or? I'm I'm stressed out, baby. Why are you stressing? Because fucking uh, the place I work, some uh, basically the the cops caught some asshole, decided of uh, he came and confessed that he set the place on fire last night. Oh shoot! At Two a.m. 
and it's going to be closed down for a long time. I don't know uh, how long, baby. Hey, uh, that's crazy. Um, so there was an actual explosion? So, uh, yeah, you're probably, you'll probably have to sign up for fucking, uh... Unemployment? Yeah, you, you should be fine. Exactly. I mean, I would think... I would think a job like you were working, you might be that, you might be in that position where you're going to make as much (laughs) at least in unemployment, right? Unemployment kind of sucks. Like if you make a lot of money because they cap you at a certain level, right? So maybe somebody that was making six figures is like, fuck, well, I have to, I have to somehow live on, you know, uh, five, 600 bucks a week or something or whatever they cap you at. So, I mean, for you, you might benefit from it to be honest with you. I still got my other fucking uh, my other little job that I, it's only an hour, but fucking that'll be uh, not nearly as much. So yeah, fucking yeah, but I'll be fine. But it's just like yeah, I'm fucking uh, weird because uh, I have had that job for like it's always been the job that I just uh, I kept even when I was working like a uh, fucking really stressful full time job because it's like fucking I just go there and that's my like I almost look forward to it because it's that's my time to zone out put on a new album and just listen to it vibe out baby fucking the new podcast whatever and yeah fucking i just always had that baby fucking that's gonna be weird if uh not if i never had back it'd be just kind of weird like yeah it's just not like i'm fucking stressing out like oh fuck like it's just like yeah i'm just kind of sitting here like wow that was fucking weird very very low t hey doesn't well, it remind definitely... you doesn't it remind you of like that like morgan's next door to you Every time you'd have to come over, and now it's fucking that. Oh your yeah, job. just That's like weird, isn't it? Just like when we were kids, there was this big fucking. Right. I lived right in between, like it was almost like a college campus, almost surrounded by like fucking buildings that were part of this factory called Morgan's. And like at least three times throughout my childhood, they just fucking one of one of each of these buildings just blew up out of fucking nowhere. It was always like, whoa, what the fuck? The first time it ever happened, we were me and my sister were laying down watching Child's Play three. And it was the beginning of the movie right after the montage of them making the doll, cleaning it up. And then they're walking through the hall talking, just giving some exposition dump. Fucking, and then all of a sudden, and we were like, what the f-? And all of a sudden, my dad comes in and like, whoa, dudes, you guys, fucking Morgan just blew up. Let's go outside and look at it. It looks cool. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> gosh. Fucking, and then, and then like flagging down somebody driving by, getting us out of there, and then you fucking he run in. We're like, Dad, fucking come with us. Like, <laughs> he just wants to go looking for. He, he wants, wants to, to go explore. Marshmallows or something. Yeah, exactly. Fucking, That's like our kids. Dads let's were go, like, let's oh, we know it. everyone in this town. We can go check it out. They won't care. <laughs> Damn. Oh, fuck. And that factory, I guess they make dog food. I never knew what they yeah. did my whole life. There was a huge ordeal with fucking that factory too like it's in part of like a book for paris we probably should not talk yeah we probably shouldn't it's that fucked up (laughs) well you know who's gonna win in this whole situation whoever owns that gas station because i'm sure they have a policy i'd hope they have a policy you keep thinking it's a gas station it's not a gas station oh i always thought it was a gas station grocery store big store oh it's an actual big store like a piggly wiggly type thing not just like a corner store exactly yeah, uh, it's like the size of I, like a CVS or something like that. I could turn my oh, okay. on if you need me to, or we could just do this. Yeah, I didn't know what you wanted to do. You said you were stressed out. I didn't know if you wanted to be on screen. Whichever. Get, get on screen. Well, if you, need, if you want to get on screen, you got to go video, bruh. Bruh. There he is. Right. He's wearing his, what was that, <sighs> WrestleMania 15, 14? WrestleMania oh, yeah. 14. Fucking very Chad. Well... I would think they got a pretty big policy in place, so they'll be all right. Yeah, you need to definitely sign up for what we were saying. You'll be fine. I mean, yeah, you'll be like right. I said, you, you're. I have a feeling they'll probably match what you made. <clears throat> Usually, the people that get kind of screwed, with, well, not screwed, but like people that make more money and they have a family and they have like expenses and they have like you know fucking houses or three kids. Yeah, then it's like, oh shoot, I got to live off this much money. That's a little bit of an awakening, but I think oh, you'll yeah. be fine. And because I used to, I used to work a seasonal job and it was every year. So that's why I traveled so much. So I worked in Branson, Missouri, which was a seasonal town and they were only open during the tourist season, which was 
um summer and up until close to christmas or something like that so i'd get like four months off a year paid four to five months just paid and then we'd come back and it was awesome and i'd take all that loot and travel and i i mean i wasn't making a lot of money i made enough for me because i just lived in a shit apartment by myself i want to say i made like 400 bucks a week man they just gave me 400 bucks a week yeah, four hundred bucks a week, and if not a little bit more, and to not work, that's that's all right with me. Check I can do that now. But what? Check out what I just—I uh, fucking started this, baby. Is that Mass Effect? I can't tell. The Legacy Collection Edition. Fucking a blast from the past. I've been joys in it. I never played it. It's like Star Trek, basically, very Chad. This is the closest we ever got to a fucking dank Star Trek game. Very Chad. Very I thought about. I have. I have some. I'm not spending. I'm on a. I'm not spending a lot of money right now. I'm trying not to buy stupid shit I don't need. But I have Best Buy credit. I've got about seventy five dollars of Best Buy credit. So I was either going to buy Skyward Sword because it just dropped on Switch this week. Um. Fuck. Or I'm kind of tempted to finally try monster hunter world on ps4 so i i don't know i don't know which one would go if i get monster hunter it's on sale for 30 bucks digitally with the expansions <laughs> and stuff then i you know probably won't get zelda but it's i guess it just depends on what i feel like playing i'm looking forward to like playing through skyward so i still haven't played through i haven't got a, a twitch at all i'm looking forward to fucking getting the twitch playing fucking metroid 5 dread the twitch <laughs> the twit, the fucking switch, man. Smoking them tweeds, man. Fucking hell yeah, fucking hell yeah. You know what's funny is uh, last night I thought it'd be funny to just get fucking uh, dank to dust and watch fucking Space Jam two. I I, I watched it. <laughs> you guys watched Space Jam two? I didn't. I have. Fucking amazing. Just tell him, Maggie, it was an amazing film. And did I? I don't know if you're trolling or not. <laughs> He's trolling. He gave it a pretty, he gave it like a four out of ten. I saw it. I said, box. I said it would have been a five out of ten if it was just 20 minutes shorter because it's almost two hours long. <laughs> and you know what? The first half of it, I was like, you know what? This word, it's fine. I fucking, I can, I can deal with this. It's like, fucking, even though they're using CG, it's still stylized to look like 2D animation because we all know they don't do 2D animation anymore because 3D is just cheaper because it's not unionized and they can fucking offshore it and all that shit. See, they talk about how progressive they are. They fucking, they, they don't want fucking CGI to be unionized. It's all fucking bullshit. Anyway, but like, yeah, the first half of it, it's like 2D, fucking LeBron James, he's just as wooden as fucking Michael Jordan ever was. And then he gets in there and like, he's animated. He's part of the tune. It's like, oh, they didn't have him in front of a green screen the whole time. They he's like animated. And then I'm sitting there for a second. I'm like, you know what? I don't know why they didn't do that with the original. Like fucking, uh, it's not like Michael Jordan was a great actor. Like why they have to have, like his voice, it was just as wooden as his act. Like you could have just drawn him and it would have made sense. But like half of it is like that, where it's like all the, the original, you know, animation. And then they start like, oh, we're getting the band back together. It's one of those stories. So Bugs is the only guy seeing this one. It takes place inside the, the algorithm. It's almost Al like Gore. I thought they were. Yeah. I thought they were going to go completely like self-aware and basically make the point that like, oh yeah, movies today, they're not even thought of and written by people. They're just written by algorithms almost. And it's like, is this movie really self-aware? I don't know if they did that or not because it was kind of like they're, they're setting it up like, oh, we want to get LeBron in our algorithm thing. He's going to be animated in it. He's going to sell a bunch of stuff. And like, he doesn't say no because it's like, Man, there's no real art in this. There's you're not fucking. You're just putting my. Uh, it's just a big commercial to you. But they don't go that self-aware. He just like he just says nah. And then like for some reason, basically the 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 guy in the algorithm is self-aware, and he's like, you don't say no to me. So he gets him into the algorithm, and his son is him. in there too. <laughs> we could just. He's not gonna watch it. We're just gonna review the movie here. <laughs> you could, dude. You could. This might be a movie that I watch half asleep and you can ruin it i've already heard people say michael jordan makes an appearance right i don't give a fuck <laughs> no he doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't that was that was a, a really good laugh that I got. was that was <laughs> funny but dude seriously if they would have brought michael jordan right there without anyone ever like leaking that information like that would have been fucking cool so yeah it's basically do you want me to give away that 
spoiler. Or you it away. I don't. I, yeah, this is not a movie I care about you spoiling. Trust okay. me. So, so they get to that point. It's basically the point in the movie because it's basically sequelized. It's half set up time. just like the first it's one. Like fucking so half. It's at the point in the movie where they're at the halftime before they go and win everything, and he's getting ready to give them their big pep speech. Michael's but first, Bugs shit. goes. Bugs runs to the door and he's like, "Oh, I, I was able to get Michael Jordan." And they all like, "What?" No, it wasn't Bugs. And like, it was uh, it was the it cat. Doesn't matter. It was the cat the or cat. the duck. One of them. Sylvester they, they run to the door. Sylvester. <laughs> they run to the door and it's like, "Oh, Michael Jordan's coming!" Oh my God, it's been so long. And he's slowly coming in. You see his silhouette, and then he comes in and, and the it's music Michael and B. it's slow. <laughs> it's my, you got Mike. There, we're looking for Michael. <laughs> What's and they're saying? like, you couldn't get Michael A. Jordan, so you got Michael B. Jordan. And I, I laughed at that. I was at first, I was like, oh shit, I didn't see this coming. That's a, that's a good thing to do. It is. And the it whole time, I'm like, the fucking... yeah, yeah, I'm digging this. And then he shows up, and I'm like, oh. And, but then I had to laugh because <laughs> they fucking troll you. I was way more invested in the movie than I would have been if I wasn't D two D, basically. But well, fucking, exactly. But still, like, like that part, watching. that part trolls the fuck out of you. And you're like, dude, like your feels come back, like Michael Jordan's come back, and all the fucking people there are like, what? And it's fucking so, Michael uh, B. Jordan. And he's he like, yo, what's up, guys? <laughs> did he actually hang around like Bill Murray, or was he just? Like, uh, he was. He talked for a couple times. He had like three or four lines, and then he had, fucking like, three left. lines. And he was gone. So stupid. It's funny though. The whole time you're watching the end, it's just like uh, watching the end of the last one, too, because yeah. remember the last one? It was like, oh, look how cheaply animated all the people in the crowd look. Now it's like, oh, they put all their universal, like, fucking... Yeah, they the, put their, all their Warner their Bros. Big, fucking logo. They're all in the background. They're all in the background. But, and they like, do the same funny. thing, but they're 3D. It's funny, <laughs> it's funny because it's like... Uh, they just look like people cosplaying as these fucking characters. Yeah. It's like... But they have just them... Deepfaked. They don't have, have them there the whole time, character. though. Listen, listen. You could have jeep fake Jim Carrey's face onto the mask, and it fucking it would have worked. But it's they like, didn't oh, do it's it just, for this guy. It's really, che- it's really <laughs> cheesy. It's really lo- looks odd. Um, also, like they just repeated like a ten second movement for all of them. So like when you'd see him sometimes, like fucking Pennywise, he'd be doing the same thing over and over like, again. <laughs> like the spawns, like the shitty spawns. Yeah, the but like yeah, they do this thing where half of it, they're it's the normal style, and then once they get to the final game, it, it, it's tr- it's right in the halfway mark. So they they get to the final game in the halfway mark, mm-hmm. so more of it is like that's why it seems it's cartoony. Way too fucking long. And then you get to the fucking so, real. But like once they get to the game, he's like, oh, we're gonna update them for the new generation, and then they get all 3D looking. It's like that is completely unneeded. Why'd you do that? Like, what was the point of, like, there was, you know there's somebody that's like, oh yeah, make them update for the new 3D generation, because that's what you're supposed to do. Remember Jason X? They made him Uber Jason. Nobody cared, though. They already like the fucking talking mask. I I think it's just, um, I think it's just audience gore bullshit. Like, well, little kids, they want 3D. Like, oh, they they don't want to see a 2D cartoon that's antiquated to, like, a young kid. I think they just, I don't know, I think kids expect to see 3D. Like, when they see it in a trailer. Yeah. There's no 2D animated shows anymore, so they're all used to 3D. That's why. And then it's like, and it's all because they don't want to fucking pay as much. I mean, it's cheaper. It, it's it's the same as the average the average movie watcher, right? And I don't want to call it the lowest common denominator because that sounds like I'm insulting people, but it's like they're programmed not to like old movies, right? The average person, people that are even our age, anything like that's. Not in the 2000s is old. I, I, Jurassic Park is ancient to some of these people. I'm like, it's not, to me, that doesn't feel old. The 80s doesn't feel that old. It's in my lifetime. When I think old movie, I think 70s and, and even before 60s, 50s. But when I try and pop in a movie that's, I could try and pop in Jurassic Park and they'll be like, this is so old. I'm like, is it? But, I don't know. But yeah, kids probably just want to see that 3D. Because their dads are like, oh yeah, I grew up watching this. You're going to love this. And they're like, it looks like shit, dad. Where's this the 3D? Is, there was a part of me that was like fucking nostalgic to see Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, all these characters interact again. Like a weird little nostalgic. Yeah, it was it's all right. I, I didn't mind it. My kids enjoyed it. It was my mom was laughing. I mean, it part was, of it too is, I mean, they, they had the some, 3D. They did some it. funny ass shit in there, like the t- the cart the Looney Tunes. Like they probably had to go 3D because do kids even watch Looney Tunes anymore? It was anymore? weird to see Rick and Morty <laughs> in it. That really got me. Like. They take out mm. Pepe Le Pew and fucking what was it? Lola there, there was a point. There was a point. I and almost put, thought they were gonna. 
they were going to go self-aware, uh, self-aware and like on the part where he's trying to get everybody together he's like oh i gotta we gotta get the the assemble the best team and then i thought he was going to actually see pepe Lupu. oh not in this climate and fucking flick him away or something i thought they were going to get <laughs> self-aware yeah and that right. would have been, right. been that would have been funny yeah that would have been a way to do it yeah and then they put fucking rick and morty in there man what i heard was big chungus in this one uh, Whatever his name is. Character. I don't remember that character. The, fat, the chubby fat Bugs Bunny? Oh, I don't know. I don't think so. Oh. Uh, but Lola Bunny, she's still just a Stacy. Fucking <laughs> big boobs or, or small boobs. Just a Stacy. You know what I want? I want Zendaya doing cosplay as Lola Bunny porn. That's what is I she, need. Is she playing the voice or what? Is that... She is. I'm surprised she you is. don't watch the Spider Man movies because she's in those. I have seen those. Oh. She was too young in those, though. Right. But you know what's funny, though? They do that thing in that first Spider-Man movie where they make her, like, the unpopular goth outcast, but she's clearly a supermodel. Was like, she, like... Uh, did she come up off of, like, Disney Channel? Yeah. Like, I, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I figured. I, I, like, I, I She's into, clearly like, a teen model, and they're trying to pass her off as that shadow kid, right? Like, nah, mm -hmm. you know, they do that shit. It's like, why don't she just hire a real shadow kid type? Like, somebody that's not attractive and... Or not traditionally attractive, and but they, they can never do that because they can never transition into the hot kid after when they do it. Yeah, well, Peter Parker be won't be interested. Everybody in be bitching that they're they're fucking the they're fucking lowering the the beauty standard. Like fucking not my movie. Fucking this video game character is too chubby. Fucking uh, there's always a blowback for everything now. R really odd. You know it's funny you? though. Even even if um, you were doing after doing the whole stigma of the damsel in distress people hate that stereotype now i guess now too but even then you never have like an overweight damsel in distress like why can't superman's object of affection be somebody that's 50 pounds overweight it's really weird like yeah like uh the way of, like, like somebody like uh, the uh, it's weird because like the uh the resident evil the big mommy milkies fucking that was that's the first time like a, a thick fucking chick was thought of as hot like usually if a, if a chick's just like slightly overweight it's like ew what a fatty remember like uh like in like 2003 or something uh mm -hmm. jennifer love hewitt was getting mocked because like some pictures of her in a bikini he's like ooh, fatty and it's like what it's like what the okay, only way weird. the only way they do that dynamic is is if the guy's overweight and usually it's some kind of romantic comedy where that's kind of the joke hey i'm a i'm a stupid slob i don't deserve the hot chick or if the woman's going to if the yeah if the woman's going to be heavy or like what's it called hitch or something if the woman's heavy set then the guy has to be heavy set too and then it has to be usually a comedy like a it's just they they never have just a Chris Hemsworth type going after someone that's even 20 pounds overweight Funny which isn't cake. like a lot somebody with that cake no they oh, don't that, it's so funny that big thick ass hell yeah <laughs> That's some Chad shit. Big, big, uh, big but mommy it, milkies. It's funny though because there's that's there's an audience for it, man. There's a lot of women that like curvy chicks, man. And there's a difference between being thick with two C's and being just obese. Sometimes that, that line gets straddled. But we need to get I mean, like we need to get super obese people in movies. Obese. I guarantee you, if you go to some of the hottest strip clubs in Phoenix or Scottsdale. There's a good Nutty portion professor. of those strippers that are. There's a good portion of them strippers that have big fat milkies and they're thick, and oh, I'm sure they dope. make a ton of money. Oh yeah, you know, looking like fucking Angela White and shit. And then there's that oh. one stereotype too, where it's like the guys they wanna they wanna fuck a fat chick, or but they don't want to take them home and date them. <laughs> oh, Maybe I don't. You don't want to take anybody home and date them, really. Yeah, I guess unless so. you have to. Quan Chi kind of looks cool. I kind of like his uh. He was okay. I keep I was, forgetting we're, we're on a different platform right now, so I'm just joking. I wasn't knocking people of a different way. I'm just acknowledging society. And I said it's weird. It you is. Know? If it was realistic, you'd think there would be more heavy set people it, it's it's big in internet culture too you have like a guy that's just like maybe 20 pounds overweight people act like it's like oh fat ass fucking fatty it's really weird they, yeah. they, they always fucking throw like anything they can get baby yeah 
Or like, oh, you're a manlet, you're really short, but then it's like, you'll see pictures of them in public with people that that person hangs out with, and they're like, just as tall. And so it's like, oh, well, we, we calculated, and you're just as tall as this guy you're calling a manlet. And it's like, but they just keep calling him a man. It's, it's so really weird. Look at all the different things that movies portray. They falsify what, what should be norm, and, and people take it seriously. So there's that whole meme of, you know, women don't want any guys that are under six foot right that's like a whole thing like don't don't even mess don't slip in my dms if you're under six foot okay hollywood does that because they put lifts on all their short actors because all the because most people aren't six foot that's not the average height but uh, the, the the movies the pictures they want to make it appear like these types are all towering over their women so that contributes to it also those same people that star in the movies they're not always in shape, man. Look at Vin Diesel. Look at these guys when they're on their off season in between filming, and they're fat. They're, I mean, not fat, but they're just, they got the dad bods. They're letting that shit go. I mean, it's their job. I mean, if I was, you have the anomalies like The Rock, where it's almost his job to stay in shape 24 7, 365, right? Because he's The Rock. But outside of guys like him, I wouldn't do that either, man. If I was like a career actor and you were paying me $20 million a movie and I made one or two movies a year, I had to bust my ass to be in like shape half of the year. The other half, I'm going to fucking lay down a little bit. So, but, but they don't, they don't show that shit. But when they do, it's always like a tabloid thing. Vin Diesel rocking the dad bod, you know, and they're, they're shaming it. It's like, it's it, like, it's weird. They have the tricks they do. Like they always stand up straight. Cause like whenever you slunch down, you, you look like you got a belly and like, so then you get like, so anytime they're doing, uh, you know, magazine covers and stuff, they're always kind of doing that shit. Like the, the angles and all and the way they film them. And then they said like a uh, paparazzi snaps a picture of them, like hunched over at a fucking, like grabbing an apple somewhere. Like, look at the fat fuck. Fuck, he's getting so fat. Look oh, what the fuck. The, the other thing they put on society too, stereotypes is in movies. There's the stereotype, the trope of um, these these down and out lead characters of the movie. They always are just living outside of what their oh, means should be, shit. right? Like maybe maybe this guy works at a grocery store, but he's living in this Manhattan sky rise apartment he would never afford. You know what I mean? They always. I don't know. It just kind of contributes to the whole Instagram fake life. Look at what I have, you know, culture. But watch Friends, man. Are we supposed to believe Rachel Green, who was a waitress that didn't go to college? She just landed a job as like some high fashion designer working for Ooh. Ralph Lauren. That doesn't shit. Fucking shit doesn't happen, man. How are they even affording those those apartments anyway? They're lying to us. Joey They're Tribbiani lying. was a working actor that was like never working. How how was he affording the restaurant? I, the, the apartment. It's just stupid. I want to see the sitcom where they're living in their mom's basement or they're sucking dick for heroin. I think are going to say where they're living La Vida Loca. Living That's La what Vida I want to see him suck dick. Ricky Do Martin get... and fucking, I don't know, uh, uh, fucking uh, somebody else in Living La Vida Loca coming on TV as a Saturday night. You guys remember, Check. you guys probably don't remember this because oh, I, I don't think it was did you before slipknot's self-titled album came out it was reported to be called living to vita loco crazy and because i saw this oh there's an old clip floating around youtube where they technically made an appearance on howard stern and it was before anybody knew who they were they weren't on Ozfest. there was no album out yet but they were signed and they basically called howard stern's radio station because icp was on and they basically manufactured that, yeah. Yeah, they manufactured some some Beef battles they, yeah, they, just like, to go some, up, just to get on the show and get some pre get some airtime. Air and then they they advertise it as like, oh, your debut album is called "Living De Vida Loco." Okay, and they didn't say no. That's not it. They were nodding like, "Shit, that's a terrible album." Talk about that's dating yourself. That's kind of funny. That's kind of really funny. Like I wish no, they it, did that. It dates it to the Ricky Martin. It dates it to that era. Like so, hit me, baby, <laughs> one more time. It's terrible. Genius, big chads. I wonder if that was the deal until like last minute, like fuck. Again. Oh, it, it had to have been like something happened. I mean, somebody obviously talked some sense into him. Like, look, Ricky Martin's not going to be popular in the United States next year, so don't date yourself. Fucking Chad. He says, "Fine, fine, fine, fine." What if in an alternate universe where fucking Ricky Martin really was still famous and like they were just that band that uh, like they were able to glide by just because they fucking ripped off his shtick? 
You know, it's like that would be amazing. I'd I mean, R- Ricky Martin is still really big in Latin America and stuff. I mean, what else do those good people need? You know, fucking Ricky Martin, very Chad, big concrete cock on that guy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> why are these ones all mysteries? I don't know. They always did, do that. Where did they the concrete cock meme come from? When did I, I, I start came, doing that? I, I, came from I thought it came from you. Fuck yeah, yeah. I, I mean, like, what was the first time? We need the fucking Mac and Zach BTM fucking Revival House Wiki. Basically where everybody <laughs> can run down and find the fucking <laughs> reference points and all this shit. <laughs> Yeah, there. Yeah, it would go into like all the there because there's some stuff that doesn't even get brought up anymore. Because Zach will go through fads of terminologies and slang, and and I would say that he's stuck in the Chad phase a long time. I don't yeah. know if that's that that's might that new, one might be that's stuck. That's one that's stuck. It's gonna it's gonna be like it's, one of his. It's stuck a <laughs> while. Uh, donks stuck around. <laughs> um, but some of the stuff gets you know by, gets <laughs> by the wayside. Yeah, we don't remember it because it's like I don't say it anymore. We have yeah. to go back and like, go through the archives. I tried to make shooting ropes a thing, and it lasted a season. That was gone. Oh yeah, I'd never heard that before. You said it. Yeah, I shooting did. chads, chuds. I heard it. I heard it on some. I heard it on some sleazy, basically these sleaze balls. The kind of guys that go to porn conventions. I guess in like that real sleazy porno circles, it's widely known. Like Peter North is the rope shooting king. Like shooting, it's like real thick loads. <laughs> it's just a thing. I don't know. The fact that I knew it made it sound like I was part of that crowd, and I'm not. Oh, yeah. You know, because there's that crowd. It's the guys that love the male porn stars, like the the quote unquote straight guys that love the the money shot, like the thicker, messier money shot. Like that's their favorite part. And we're talking quote unquote straight guys that aim to finish at the same time when the guy's finishing. And to me, that's so weird. And of course, their argument's like, oh, no, I like to pretend it's me. I'm like, ah, no, man. Then I, it's weird. It's genius. Oh, Fucking goofy reptile issue. face looks. There's no way you're ever going to time it right, though. Unless you've seen it before and you, you fucking. Yeah, I guess you're right. Me. I guess you're right. I think, oh, you know what? That was on Howard Stern, too, actually, because it was Richard Christie, because he was talking about how it's his favorite part of the porn. And they were like, dude, you're so fucking gay. Like, just admit it. Like, no, it's like, I don't. It's like, I it just make, I like to think, I pretend it's me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Then you just go to a porn compilation, the, 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 the end shot compilation, fucking watch that. Fucking then it don't matter if you're an early bird or late bird. That's the Chad way. He didn't even take off his mask. Cowboy way. I watched this movie last night called Blind Fury. You ever watched it? It's got Rooker Hauer, and it's pretty pretty tropey. It's pretty a uh, formula. But he's he plays a guy who's a Vietnam oh, vet. Oh, is that that goofy ass movie where he's a samurai or something? Yeah, yeah. So he he's a Vietnam vet that gets blinded in the war, and. I guess after the war he's blind, but he comes like a sword master, and they don't explain it. Like they cut to present day, and he's just, yeah, he's like fucking, he's like blind. He's like Kenshi, man. Yeah, he's like Kenshi. Tom Cruise. And uh, he goes to see his old war buddy because I guess he was presumed to be dead. And when he goes there, he enters conflict because it's his it's his be- best friend's ex wife and her son, played by a very young Brandon Call who was in Step by Step. He played JT. And that's kind of where the story is, because he goes there just to see him. Like, oh, we got divorced. Like, oh, okay. But then fucking a bunch of people come in, because I guess the little boy saw a murder or a crime, and he gets mixed up in the trouble. And the the bad guy is played by Tex Cobb, man. Tex Cobb and a bunch of hoodlums. And he kicks their ass. He's a blind guy. And then his mom gets killed. And then it kind of becomes a road movie because he takes the kid to go find his dad. And I don't know. It's just one of those movies. I don't think Rutger Hauer is a very good action star, but the movie itself is all right. It was a six out of ten. But I don't really know. should have became like a fucking like they fucking corn should have done a collab album with him. Corn. <laughs> 
God, fucking that would have been dank. And they could have tri- made a tribute album to Ty Cobb, the baseball player. Fucking hell yeah. You ever hear, there's a band called uh, Puig Destroyer, and it's about, fucking, it's a baseball center, uh, like they're a hardcore band, and all their songs are about this guy whose last name is uh, Puig, and he's a, he's a, like, uh, he's a famous basketball, or a baseball player, and it's all, like, puns about baseball, fucking, like, us, uh, like they have a song called Stop Fucking Bunting, uh, amazing. So it's, it's a very... play, it's a play on Pig Destroyer? <laughs> Stop okay. fucking bunting! <laughs> it's very genius. Fucking genius. Is it as good as King Cobra's albums, though? I still want to hear them. those. Have you heard any of them? I, I, I skimmed whichever ones that. Does he have them on YouTube? Does he have them on iTunes or anything? I think other people have uploaded them. <laughs> other people, I, not him. I think I don't know who shared it. Maybe Zach. Whatever you shared, I listened to it. I skimmed every track. I could listen to it front to back. But it was uh. He's doing like a bunch of fake. Was he doing like a bunch of fake black metal screams or something in there? Yeah, like people try to get him. People like, like give him like donations. Like do a, uh, do, a, do He's like do an epic black metal scream for me, and then he'll get like really angry because he'll keep messing up. He'll be like, <laughs> he'll, he'll like do like really go- like he'll, <laughs> like he'll just do yeah. like, the, the goofiest sounding noise. And then like, <clears throat> I'm getting really frustrated because I can't do it right. And I, I, I'm, I, he gets real mad because he's like, they gave me some money to do it, and I got to. I, I feel like I got to do it right. So he'll sit there for like five minutes trying to do it. And then when he finally settles, I'm like, yeah, that one was good. It's like, was that any better than the last couple? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> it's really fun. Pretty Chad. What was I going to say? I watched Blind Fury over Space Jam, actually, because I almost watched Space Jam because I was in bed. I'm like, you know what? I could, I could maybe fall asleep to this. Why not? But then I did. I saw it was like two hours long. I'm like, holy shit. No, thanks. Uh, I, that's 40 minutes too long for the kind of movie it is. I, get, this, I want this movie to be under 90 minutes, to be honest with you. So I chose Blind Fury, which knew to be 90 minutes or less. But... Yeah, they also they tr- they tried to bring the new generation into it by making his son like a gamer, <laughs> and like yeah, like a fucking part of the movie. And like I almost thought like the 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 algorithm guy. I, I, like I figured out three like thirty minutes into the movie, I'm like okay, the algorithm guy is a good guy, and he's doing this to teach the dad and the son a lesson. That's the only way him using the son to make a team even makes sense. But like that didn't they didn't do that. It, why would he you oh okay he wants the kids game because it's not just a regular basketball game at the end it's like weird new rules where there's style points like you got to dribble the ball a certain way and all this and the team they're playing against is basically for the game he scanned in all of his uh, dad's teammates yeah. and then crossed them with like spider like random thing like a snake well he had all this <laughs> if you watched at the beginning of the movie he was putting more into his game before his dad walks in and he has like the the co the fucking anaconda or whatever. He had all the designs ready, like he was gonna do something with them. It was really confusing at first, but then at the end, he yeah. fucking mixes them with his dad's friends in the NBA. Like he's playing, the he's NWA. playing the game with his dad. His dad's like, "Show me the game that you've been making," and he does it. And there's like some weird arrow, and he's like, "Oh, my character was just deleted." It's like what? What? It's like it, it, it's a weird. Like that's not how it works while you're playing. That's how it works when you're playing a game and someone like hacks you and deletes it. Not like while you're building the game. I don't fucking know. Well, it's not the, game, it. the game's not ready. It's a like a beta. So he had it on a thing. He wasn't done with it. But then like also his the oh yeah how it works is you sit here and score points and the more points you uh, score the more people join and watch you. It's like how would it work like that? Does it just pull people in like uh, randomly depending like or do like. Are they always just coming in? Was that just his way of dumbing it down so his dad can understand it? Like, oh no, you're just you're just trying to get a bunch of points. Like, the, the people will show up and watch you. Like, whatever. Like, I don't know. Very weird. I mean, was it like demonic? Was it like a beta uh, game, like demonic? No, no, I don't think so. Anyway, so do, do they do that thing that movies like to do? Or it's no, really it was annoying? like Got it was a- like an NBA Jam TE style. Yeah. Like- but do they do that thing though? I, I like um. Kind of like in Jingle All the Way, where it's they have a obviously really really well to do family, but yet the kid is bitching about shit that doesn't matter. So LeBron James is loaded. Obviously, is there like are we are, oh, so are we made like, to feel so are we like, made to feel sorry 
for this kid in any yes. way because his dad doesn't like talk yeah, to him no, or he's like because his dad wants him to play basketball and he wants to make video games so he's that more is like exactly what he's like hey do. you need to focus on basketball and, and then he's like that's stupid i want to play video games he's like i like basketball but i kind of like this more and, and I, his when, dad's like when, what how dare you when when LeBron James was a kid, his dad also told him to put the games away because he was playing. That's how he knows who. Like it, it, it tags like, oh, he's playing the Game Boy at the beginning. Of the he happens to be playing the Looney Tunes game, which nobody would have been playing for the Game Boy because it wasn't a good game. But it, but then like, oh, then his dad or his coach like, you're a good game, but you're a really good player, but you got your head up that too much, and then he throws it away. Like I'm gonna make the decision. To really put my attention on basketball, so he wants his kid to do the same thing. Not, I guess, maybe because he's like a boomer, he doesn't realize. Like, actually, your son would probably make more money uh, be being a game designer nowadays. But uh, I don't know, maybe. Uh, fucking, who knows? And you can't even use that boomer argument of, oh god, you're never gonna go anywhere. With this, you gotta have a career when you're LeBron James's yeah. kid, because you know he's got fucking all sorts of bonds and shit for that. That kid's a millionaire the second he turns it eighteen. It sucks, Zach, but basketball players probably make a lot more. Dang, look at that. Is that a dude just hanging mm -hmm. back there? Oh, uh, I, I got the feeling while watching this that LeBron James probably has a weak chin, but he, he styles his beard in a certain way to make it look like he's got a big Chad-ass jawline. <laughs> <laughs> and like, it's something about it was like, that seems like an illusion to me. Something's going on right now. <laughs> he just has a weird-ass chin. <laughs> it is pretty weird. Like when he first becomes, a, it's almost like the animators made a, a joke that because when he first becomes a cartoon, he he falls from the sky, and then like at first his like face is upside down and his chin is like his the top yeah, of his the head. Top of his head. He like unscrambles it or something. It's like it looked fucking, normal too whenever he did it. Yeah. <laughs> fucking it's like oh, chin. I forgot that his chin was down there. That's funny because it looks like a head. Exactly. What? Fucking Quan Chi. Look at this. This fucking level's dope. You got fucking Shang Tsung in the back. Fuck you, Shang Tsung. I, I just finished editing our uh, fucking beef oven. Fucking commentary oh. turned out good. How it's did I sound? There. It was perfect, the levels, baby. Alright, so I won't touch it. Yeah, that was a fun commentary. It's, it's, it's a different dynamic when you know all about the movie. And <laughs> just... <laughs> I always feel so much better when we do those kinds of content where it's like we we talked about the movie uh, enough like fucking like uh, you know we can't talk about it every single thing because like we weren't there but like fucking we, we diverge into the stories based on the movie throughout and that's cool fucking uh, it, it, it turns out good but you know. all right like, yeah, I got every once in a while we'd have those ones where we get done and be like it doesn't even feel like we did a commentary for that movie. <laughs> we just like fuck, like it always seems to happen with the ones we like. Oh, we've never seen this. We gotta, we gotta, you know, someone wanted us to do this, and like, fuck, we're gonna do it. Yeah, and yeah, that always seems to happen. Is it? Well, I got better at well, ever since we gave rain to the people as far as making suggestions and requests. I, I got better about actually watching them if if the listeners are requesting them. Um, but there was a while where you were just making me watch all sorts of shit. I'm like, I'm not gonna watch all this bullshit. I know it's gonna, I know what to expect. It's gonna be, what? It's gonna be fucking Schizophrenic Part Five. Yeah, I, I told you not to watch that. That one was one that's like, uh, I want, this has to be a reaction type of uh, movie. Yeah. <laughs> but those those turn out really fun too. It just it just depends. I don't know. Maybe the key I'll is when. If at least you or one person is really into it, but then again, Street Fighter, man, I was trying to talk all about that, and you were just derailing that. So, it's like, <laughs> I don't was know. I? I thought that one turned out good too. It did turn out good, but I was trying to be really drop the factoids and be Zach on that episode, and I don't know. You just you were still being Zach when I was trying to be Zach, but you were being the part of Zach that his shits on the whole time. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, it turned out fine. It turned out fun. Oh, that was cool. Cool entry. Yeah, that's fine too. Like fucking when I like I thought the uh, the midsummer one was good, where I was like fucking cooming, and you were like, eh, fuck this movie. And I thought that one turned out good too. As long as one of us is at least passionate about the movie, they always seem to turn out good. Yeah, no, that works too. I mean, I still knew the movie, and I that wasn't manufactured. I really don't like. I mean, I might have. I mean, I don't hate it, but I don't think it's great. 
It's just some kind of pet. Whether it's like, oh, I passionately like this, but I passionately fucking hate it. Either way, it seemed to turn out good. I, I passionately hate that people love it as much as they do. It's, it's more like that. Like, I don't think it's a terrible movie, but like, what the fuck is going on? I, I wouldn't say it's a terrible movie just because it barely qualifies as a movie to me. It's almost just like a really long commercial or so just something to turn your brain off while it's playing. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really weird though. I was I think I was oh, reading an fuck. article. What? Yeah, those, those are fast force balls. <laughs> force balls. Poop balls. I don't know. I was trying to figure out the ratio in in which I like to take in my movies. I get it. A message an artsy is is one thing, but how much of those do I watch compared to what to Blind Fucking Fury? You know, mm. where it's just total junk food. Like there is no underlying message to Blind Fury. It's if it's pretty right much standard. Yeah, it's, sometimes you're just in that mood, and you can watch more of them. I mean, because they usually don't. I mean, they're, just, they're not taxing. I could watch a marathon. When of I, Blind Fury top yeah, movies. Those are the type of movies I tend to like. If I watch a movie at like two times speed, it's stuff like that. Like stuff like, oh, I can just get through a bunch of these and fucking there's very generic throwaway yeah. movies. A lot of times they'll compliment each other. So last night I watched uh, Easy Rider and then I watched Blind Fury. Right? It's like two different types of movies. One is very, One is rather artsy, I think. It's a social commentary of sorts and it's a lot of scenery bike riding shots <laughs> so it's like okay apparently, I need some... apparently there's a three hour cut of that movie yeah the Dennis Hopper second. cut the Dennis yeah. Hopper cut and I just I can't imagine it I was reading that article one time and I he seems like he was pretty hard to deal with and I don't know if their relationship stayed good for long because I guess he sued what no Peter Fonda I guess sued Dennis Hopper in the 90s when he was on the Tonight Show or maybe the 80s or something because he was trying to take credit for writing as well and they settled it out of court because maybe he didn't get a writing credit or something. I don't know. But it seemed to uh, seem like a big fucking thing. And yeah, his cut was three hours long and I think they were saying the producers like, okay, in the movie as you see it, there's six or seven just just scenic bike riding scenes. Just them riding bikes. In the Hopper cut, there was over 20. So we had to do something about this, and I guess he was really, really stubborn about it, and I, I guess he hated the cut that came out originally. I don't know how he ended up feeling about it, but basically they had to distract him and get him out of, get him out, get, get him out of town, like go on vacation, and it, the, as soon as they got him away for a few, couple of weeks, they all got in the fucking editing room, and they, <laughs> they fixed it, because they knew he never would, and uh, it's probably better for it, because... It's really, it's really good that that movie's only ninety minutes. You know, it's 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 a sweet spot for it. It doesn't need to be longer. Mm -hmm. But I that's yeah. a, that's it. That's another movie Rivers obsessed with. By the way, that's like a ten out of ten. One of his favorites. For me, it's I give it a seven, and I I'm being nice to it because it's I it, the social commentary behind it, and it's a great time capsule, and I what they do in the movie would have meant more to me in 1969 than it does now. So I'm trying to like look at it through the lens of the people of the era. So it's at least a seven because of that. We, we, we talk a lot about like every time we bring up, uh, I noticed this cause I, I thought of one that's really good. We always, every time we think of like Netflix, terrible. I can't think of one good one, but I fucking, uh, I, I remember like, was that the devil times nine or what was that one? Fucking, uh, What's his name from Good Good Time? He played good the Charlotte. preacher. Oh, Good Charlotte. Oh, Rob Pattinson. The Devil All the Time. I think that's what it's called. I like that one. Fucking well, yeah, there there's some good ones that come out every once in a while. Fucking, well, I noticed uh, that. Yeah. The ones that are harmless to me are the ones that are just kind of empty comedies, right? Like I know what I'm getting if I'm watching an Adam Sandler David's. Like that Adam Sandler, David Spade movie, The Do-Over. Was it The Do-Over? That was... It's exactly what I thought it was going to be. And m most of the Adam Sandler movies on there are really bad. But, you know, I, I don't know. But the action movies are terrible. They're really bad. There was that one... God, what's that one with Ben Affleck? Fuck, there's one with, like, South America. I don't even remember the girl who was in it. But it was really, really, really bad with the worst fucking script I've ever seen. It's You knew the ending... 
two minutes into the movie starting. You knew exactly how it was going to start uh, play out. But they're usually a waste of time. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, speaking of Good Charlotte, I don't know why Good Charlotte, but Blink-182, did you see that video of Mark Hoppus where he was actually detailing his cancer? I didn't. Yeah, he he did a stream, and I watched it on YouTube, but he was answering fan questions on a live stream, and he was looking kind of depressing because it's like, you know, you see anybody going through cancer, right? And he's, you know, got he's bald, no eyebrows, and he seems to be in good enough spirits, but he was answering everybody's questions, and he was talking about uh, the kind of cancer he has. He has stage four, lymph, stage four lymphoma, it's like I think it's shoulder or something. Uh, it's a blood cancer, uh, but st- and he's stage four, which obviously is not good when you hear that. But he was talking about how I guess they said it spread to four other parts of his body, and maybe maybe I'm a day behind. He said that as of today, he says you know I I got officially diagnosed two months ago, and tomorrow I'm supposed to go into the doctor and basically get one of a few answers: either the chemo I've been doing for two months is is working or they're gonna say oh maybe it's working we're not too sure or they're gonna basically say hey uh, you know we got to go to plan b so it, it sounded like he was kind of up in the air and it was kind of morbid it was it, because he was in one way he was being very real with everybody and he had a sense of humor he was trying to maintain a sense of humor talking about hey i, I, I almost got a toupee like the worst toupee you could get mm-hmm. and i just want to walk around it's this terrible toupee and, but at the same time he was using a lot of words like if if i beat this like he wasn't <laughs> being the candy coat type you know and of course mm-hmm. a lot of people were like oh god come on you mean when you beat it and he's like ah, i don't want to jinx it you know just gotta be in that <laughs> being that guy so i don't know it seems like he's kind of straddling that and i i get that i understand that too because you you got to be a little bit of a realist too you know it's like hey i want to beat it but i'm stage four and I know in my situations around cancer, everybody wants to like everybody wants to be that person. Like, oh man, you're gonna kill it, you're gonna crush it, you're gonna do it, and then the person dies. It's like uh, I get it. You're trying to pump the person up and and boost their morale during a really tough time. But but you have to know odds are odds and science is science and all that shit because no matter who gets cancer, no matter how bad it is everybody's support system and in a case like mark hoppus he's got a giant support system because he's got a fan base they're all gonna send those positive vibes and you're gonna kill it you're gonna crush it all that good stuff but at the end of the day what happens when they don't <laughs> it's like oh well shit oh, the, you know i like it, it uh, like morale and everything like, spirits have a lot to do with it but there there seems to be like always those people that seem like oh he died he didn't want it good enough he, he wasn't as stay part like fuck. so like it's stage four it's like really up like yeah like something like it really the the key is uh, early discovery right like fucking finding it but like when it's at it's like yeah you know, i uh, i i'm not saying you can't beat it at going to remission at stage four but stage four the odds are really stacked up yeah, against you yeah. and stage four means it's spread it's spread throughout your body so it's like you've got to juggle all sorts of shit now and it's not just removing a tumor it's in your bloodstream. It's where because he said, yeah, his is the blood cancer. Um, it sucks, uh, but yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know. It, I I kind of appreciated how he talks in it because he's being very. He's not being dark. He's not being depressy or anything like that. He's he's got a good front going, but he's also kind of being realistic. And I I don't know. It's one of those things. Oh, it's yeah. the, I, I watched this video. It goes to show like, oh, he didn't want it enough. I watched this video on social media of this guy um, that was like a friend of a friend. I didn't know him, but he a really good friend of mine was a friend of his, and he basically put up like an RIP to him. And I didn't know who he was, but I was curious. So I clicked on the link to his page, and I just, I got sucked in watching three months of this guy's videos from the hospital. And I was just enamored by it. And I all the way from, hey, I'm going to beat this, you know, because he was a, like a devout christian and you know real he's from the bible belt you know real well-to-do guy to family man and so i was watching the videos from knowing he's dead watching the videos from when he's first diagnosed and you know hey everybody's sending blessings thank you all that great stuff with his family getting all the way to the videos of 
like make a wish type stuff even though he's an adult like he was getting people to send him and his family to do fun stuff because it was getting kind of dire all the way till the day before and this was the most depressing thing i've ever seen in my life he posted a like a facetime like a video from he had just gone through some chemo and he was in the hospital and he had had a rough episode and he was saying all right tomorrow's a really big day i'm going through a really really crucial surgery um you know they 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 say that uh the odds of like there was high odds that he might die in the surgery there was high odds that the surgery wouldn't even do anything but of course he was asking for prayers and all that stuff um to, to for it to go well and then he was looking towards the bright future like you know what and if i can do this they can get me to this level and i can go on to this and you know when the end is in sight the next day he died he died in the surgery table so and i was just I was watching that particular video the night before he died of him talking to people and he was kind of emotional um, because he was obviously really scared because I'd watched all the way from the start where he was really optimistic and then I saw all the way to this guy that's like hey shit this might be my last night alive and then everybody's just blowing it up like hey you got this you got this God's with you got you know doing that thing and the next day nah the odds won <laughs> the odds won um, and I'm not saying I'm not trying to be one of those people that's angry I'm not saying, hey, it's God's God's God, you know, or anything like that. Doing that thing, I'm just saying what we want isn't what God wants sometimes. You know, but yeah, it's weird. Sorry, I got and dark. Mark's always been a super positive guy, too. Fucking, he's always like fucking super happy all the time. Like whenever they, they put out the Untitled album, they had like kind of the emo and sound for a while. It, it really like fucking, it was all. T- Mark fucking he never pulled that off. He was always just like big smile, like fucking thousand dollar smile, super happy. Like Yeah. Like, he also said man, he also said, um I think he used the word I hope I make it to fifty. But he's kind of like tongue in cheek happy you know, like being positive, but it's like kind of a dark remark and, <laughs> and of course people in the chat are like, Come on man, don't say that. Hey, are you people know, talking like, oh. in the chat? Uh no. Who put hello? You? That doesn't make any sense because I'm I'm looking at it and like people are mess like responding. No, I I I'm in the live chat. I don't see anybody. Uh, and it am says I here just, we kind of listen to us. Not yeah, I mean, there's a bunch well, of comments on the post, but they're not showing up. Let me. Oh, like the actual post when you shared it. Yeah. <laughs> That's not the chat. Yeah, well, we keep bouncing from three to four viewers, and obviously one of them's me, one of them's probably Zach. So no, it's like we people, have, there's people commenting. I don't. I'm if not you, watching. If you it. get out of it. Oh, Plemke's saying he said, "Fuck, dudes, I'm I'm in the chat. I'm trying to talk." Yeah, I don't. Wrong? I don't know. It's not showing anything. Let me see. Facebook. If you get out of it. They're, they're fucking de-squeegeeing our third eye. Let me see here. I mean... Uh, I'm gonna grab a drink. I'll grab a drink. Oh, wow, yeah. What's going so, on with it? So, I... You're right. So... I'm going to keep this open because it's not showing up in my comment live chat, but weird. What's going so on with Does it, it change if you so actually I... click on it? Let me see. Yeah. So, Wait, do I have so Plemke, if you're if, like Plemke, if you're listening, yeah, you're commenting on what Max shared and it's just commenting on like a normal post. Actually click on the video and then a new comment like thread will open up that's yeah. why we can't see anything okay so i actually... thought it was me i was like what's going on no but you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna read your messages on here though but yeah chat in the live chat that's what's going on okay i was really confused i was like i thought it was me no <laughs> yeah he's he's commenting on your your post which is different but basically saying he woke up from a nap. This is an hour ago. Mainly glorifying the middle class. Yeah, this is all kind of contextual to what we were talking about. So I don't know how much it's going to make sense now. But yeah. yeah, hit us up in the live chat. I was really hoping that all these costumes would be what they would look like. No, Ermac. Ermac just looks like a normal fucking Ermac. It's false advertising. Yeah. It's, it's lame. It's like, hey. It would be nice. Piece. That's a nice art. I mean, nice skin. 
something the fucking creators would never do. Because they don't really listen to the fucking fans. <laughs> they need to make Ed Boone a playable character with his big ass eyebrows. <laughs> They need to make a fucking fatality where he makes his fucking eyebrows grow. And then somebody gets like a fucking weed whacker and like... Not a weed. I mean, I'm, ca I'm, kind of I'm kind of surprised he didn't somehow incorporate himself in the game like a lot of the other people are. Like Dan Ford and the sound of design, you know, the Toasties and, you know, all sorts of people. Isn't he little... like, is he just Noob Sabot in the fucking suit? No. Blood or... no. I mean, he does the Scorpion get over here voice and come here he does that i guess and um no noob cybot's just their names like john tobias and ed boone noob cybot backwards that's it which i never understood why john tobias left i mean i don't know if there's really a definitive answer to that or if it just comes down to hey i want to do different things all right but what's he doing now <laughs> you know it's like Maybe he was just like, I want to do different things. I e. fucking own a penthouse and just retire off of this fucking money or something. Well, he retired when before the the money was really hitting the games. I mean, now's the time he should be in the industry. You'd think. I would imagine Ged Boone's making more money now, but who knows? Back in the nineties, well, I didn't know, see that coming. I didn't see how big of an industry it'd have been. Because it seemed like it was super big, obviously, because they had like. I'm sure they had movie money coming their way because they were doing the adaptations and the. Yeah, but how much money did they really see, and how much of it went to Midway? It's like you never know. I I don't know. Maybe part of it, yeah. It's like uh, was a Midway thing too. Maybe now that they got bought up and ate up by Warner Brothers, maybe there's a lot more cash there too. I don't know. Hey, Josh, Josh James in the chat. What's up, dude? How was the Joe Bob thing, the event? I saw that picture. He met uh, the AVGN there. He stopped and took a photo with him. Mm -hmm. That was pretty yeah. cool. Very dog. That's pretty rad. But he, I saw he had those other fucking neck beards with him, man. That ruined his channel. Hey, ruined Ron his channel. Hates the fucking other guys. And hang out with They're terrible. Dude, they ruined his channel. I mean, but, but on one hand... And, I don't think the channel would exist oh. without them. Right. Because I, his, he had his to heart's have not in it. <laughs> well, his heart's not in it. He has to have somebody. He hired these outsourced, these dudes, to basically take over the channel, do all the editing, and, and they're basically a presence now. And he wants to just be in his band. And they just put out a cover of Hearts on Fire by Rocky IV. He's, like, really dedicated to being his band, and I watched the video, and it was kind of cringe, but, I mean, it might be self-aware. Like, they're all a bunch of middle-aged dads with sleeveless shirts and really bad arm tattoos. <laughs> like, not even sleeves. Um, playing butt rock, but good on them. But it, he, James Rolfe seems to be pretty good at guitar, though. I didn't I didn't see that coming. I can roll on the laughing floor. Fucking all this time. Yeah, Mike Matei got quietly fired or he exited uh, what a few months ago yeah he has his new channel or something yeah patrick uh sorry plumkey's like holy shit this facebook live chat thing was hidden like the holy grail yeah no. it's just, you just gotta well you gotta him. yeah it was miss it was confusing because uh mac posted it and yeah the way it was yeah, i shared it and you just clicked in the actual like comment section you didn't <clears throat> click on the video first you gotta click on the live stream and actually get in there Make sure it's hey, jo live. Josh, so that Joe Bob thing, was it a pre-taping as well for the next season of the show? Are we going to see that, or is it just for you guys? I don't really know what they were doing there. I'm assuming they were showing movies, or was it more of a QA? and a No, it's all good. For a second, uh, they they referenced in the new uh, Space Jam. They referenced uh, TNT, the channel which Monster Vision was on. I was like, dude, what if fucking they run into Joe Bob Briggs doing a Monster Vision while they're going through this algorithm shit? Fucking like, it's like a net, like the, that one movie with John Ritter. Fucking uh, stay tuned. It just ends up like that. I was like, fucking, did they get our boy to be in this movie? And then I was like, hell no. There's no way they do that. I've been slowly getting caught up with all the the Joe Bob stuff that I've missed in the past like year or two, just filling in the gaps. And man, for every good movie they play, there's probably at least two bad ones. And so yeah. I watched, so I watched 
Hogzilla last year, that was unbearable. But I watched the other one, that anthology one that has Joe Bob in a part. Not as bad as Hogzilla, but I mean, it was it was it was whatever. But I just I don't know. I feel like they 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 have better movies they could be doing. Some of the movies they okay, do shock that's, me. That's that's good because they know we've already seen all the good movies. Fucking give fucking. Oh, well, now we're gonna have to watch these movies we wouldn't have watched before. Be there to make them more entertaining. Fucking, they're just more uh, fucking things to check off the list. I mean, does That's Joe Bob like. have does Joe Bob have something against Nightmare on Elm Street? Because aren't those on Shutter? Or they have been on. They Shutter? were for like a month, and then they yeah. were like really quickly off the next month or something. Must we have like limited rights to certain movies? I think Josh is saying the um, he thinks that the Saturday night was a live taping for the Halloween special. They did Night of the Demons and Torso, which just begs for a Halloween special. I have to say that the live taping was an epic experience. It looked like everybody was having a real good time. It it, it seemed like a lot of fun. I wish I could have been there. I guess. Chad. Did he take? How many people actually showed up? And did was he able to take the time to sort of shake everybody's hand? Was there like a meet and greet or? Was it just sort of uh, an overwhelming amount of people to where it wasn't possible? Or... Okay, who put the bop in the bop? She bop, she pop. Who put the ram in the ram a lam a ding dong? Who was that man? I'd like to shake his hand. He made my baby fall in love with me. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought when he said shake is everybody's hand. Why? Why did I think of that? <laughs> I might have to. I might have to bump off here soon. I mean, you guys don't have to stop. I just have to make. I, I gotta make dinner. Fuck your dinner. It's like ten after eight over here. Are you Are you close to beating this ladder? And that's gonna be my third time. You don't want to walk underneath it. <laughs> yeah, Josh James is saying we should have him on and we can talk about the uh, the event soon. Man, you can come on whenever you want. Man, you can come on. To, you can come on this weekend. Yeah, hell yeah. Big Come on, concrete do it. Uh... Yeah, it'd be fun. We do a big concrete cock film, too. <laughs> what are we doing next? Is it really a big concrete cock film? What are we going to do? Uh, 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 Clifford. Clifford or Midnight Run or... Yeah, one of them. Oh, can we just do the beef oven fucking trifecta to, to just to mod the beef oven? Oh, God. Well, after you get to the second one, like I said, you get to the Judge Reinhold straight-to-video movie, and then after that, you get to the um, Weekend at Bernie's guy who took over for him, which they get real bad. Then they start getting into Spooky Buddies territory where they've released just an infinite number of straight-to-video Beethoven movies, and it's mm. like Beethoven's Island Pirate Adventure. Like, what the fuck is this? They just get so him. nuts. Yeah. What's our boy Beef Oven doing now? Oh, he's on a fucking pirate ship! Hell yeah! Fuck, you think there's somebody out there that's just fucking jonesing for the next fucking Beef Oven? Like, what's Beethoven. my boy Beef Oven up to? <laughs> Hell yeah! Fuck, just get stoned and watch Beef Oven films. Beef Oven. Oh, hold beef on. Oven. Hey, Plem Plemke saying, uh, yeah, I just want to point out, legit, try and stop me from telling stories like I did the other day. I shouldn't have brought it up, and I felt bad I had to then request it be edited out. Won't happen about? again. Oh, oh this yeah. is when Zach and I were recording Beethoven, and he was in the uh, Patreon like live recording. It's all fucking out of there, yeah, baby. No, well, I mean, I w how can we really edit out everything? Because it, it prompted a lot of discussion about us. You know, it's... I mean, I guess we could... Cut it out. Works. It works. It's a fucking very giant. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with it, man. You didn't do anything wrong. I like. I enjoyed it. Wait. Yeah, it was. It turned it kind of dark, but <laughs> we were just talking about that stuff. We were just talking about Mark Hoppus, and I. I like talking about real life stuff, man. It doesn't have to all be dick and fart jokes, dude. I appreciate oh, it. Yeah. You know, uh, I was thinking too. You know how a lot of bands like they they I, I really. Blink-182, uh, California, which is like, fucking, they, they put out the, the deluxe edition that had all the B-sides, and it's like a double album, and I was like, yeah, there's some good things here, fucking, it's not all bad, fucking, 
and then like you, you, the, I notice like the the thing that doesn't work is that they're they're still releasing songs like fucking we're teenage satellites. It's like you're the fucking thirty years old. You're at least thirty years old, right? Like they're trying to do that thing where it's like we're still young at heart, but we're like forty, fifty years old. But like it fucking, it, it doesn't work with them because like. There's a part where it's like they definitely, and I think because Weezer, Weezer still seems like those same guys. Like the fucking, they make it somehow for the, like sometimes it's for the better, for the worse. It's like it always seems like fucking, they it could have just been this could still be the '90s with them, but then like fucking with the Blink 182, it's it doesn't work as much because we already know that those guys have matured so much. And they they they're not super mature now, but like they're not like writing joke songs about fucking fucking uh, small fucking boys in the butt like stuff like that. That's something like you can't make a joke about that now. Right. Fucking <laughs> like that song. Fucking like they would just like oh we make funny songs about fucking uh, pedophilia and like all this stuff and it's like now they don't do that and it's like fucking uh, so now they seem like they've grown up even though they might not have that much. Well, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't, because people complain when bands get old and they're not singing and doing the same stuff too, right? It's like exactly. So I mean, I guess the only alternative is to be Kurt Cobain and blow your brains out after a couple of years on the scene and just Maybe. go out that way. I don't know, be deitized. Um, Josh James is asking you. By the way, did Zach sell his hair for a six pack of Natty Ice Tall Boys? Oh, I mean. Yes. I don't know. You know when you have a car that breaks down for the 30th time and it's just one of those things where you can't keep putting money into it or you blow a head gasket and it's pretty much toast. So you cut your losses and sell it to a scrapyard for pennies. That's probably what Zach did with his hair. Oh, I mean, yeah. I, or, I mean, or, did you shave it because you were losing it or you just shaved it because you wanted to <laughs> rock that look? Fucking uh, started, uh, yeah, fucking it was good my Thin, baby, on the fucking top. And I just fucking, I, I started shaving. Oh. That's the move to make. However, it's like every guy that's bald, they shave their head and then they want to grow a goatee and they all look like inmates. They all they look all like Stone Cold Steve Austin. They all look like Stone Cold <laughs> or the, the Texas Rattlesnake. You know? Bald guys all look the same. Or you could be like a Jason Statham. Sometimes people just, it becomes their, their look. I think uh, I think I I follow him on Instagram and somebody somebody did some kind of poll on Jason Statham like hey oh they shared like a Photoshop video <laughs> Photoshop of, of of him with a full head of hair and it looked like legit and people were asking if this looks better nobody likes Jason Statham with hair everybody likes him bald. How hey. big do you think his dick is? I mean the guy the guy's really short I don't know if that. Isn't any indication? So, uh, so either way, it looks it. bigger than it probably is. We'll see, see. That's, what's, that's what would be a good thing about being a little person. Like, fucking, you could have an average size dick, but it looks huge on you. Josh is saying it's weird when you're 46 and you sing songs about your friend's mom blowing you to the crowd of 12 year olds. I do feel bad yeah. for Hobbes, though. <laughs> Yeah, Jason they, Statham's fifty. They were man. they were really funny and self aware with how. We I mean, you gotta realize it when we listened to them. We, were, I mean, it still was weird. They were they were really fucking funny and self aware with how like weird their blow up was. Like if you listen to their live album, they're making about like fucking like uh, just like you have got giant boobs and I doubt you're eighteen. Fucking, do you have a note for your mom? Like they're fucking they're about fucking people like uh, we have kids in our audience like it, it was really you could tell they were like making having fun at making jokes about it it was uh, good times are kids really into blink 182 these days though i mean is it for some reason they were they were in the 90s they were the band that like fucking uh, they got really pushed by nickelodeon because their oh. their albums weren't super dirty but they were really dirty uh on live so a bunch of kids would show up and they would just continue to be super dirty and like at some point they had to like start getting permission slips made for kids to sign <laughs> because they were so dirty and stuff like the label decided and all this stuff let's see uh plemke says uh, statham could pass for 30s he's 53 those guys i mean even someone like sylvester stallone when he was making cliffhanger and demolition man he was in his upper 40s you know, a lot of those guys, they, they eventually hit the wall. I don't know when Statham will, because he, I, like I said, I watched Wrath of Man, loved it. He still looks like Jason Statham. 
but it's going to work for him because he's always been really rough looking. Like he's got a rugged look about him. Uh, so he doesn't exactly. I think I think the more weathered his face looks in time is just going to help his his appearance. Uh, what if when we hit the wall it completely depends on us? When it's just when we decide to stop giving a fuck, and it's just like that's when it happens. Well, that's a, that's a good Arnold thing Arnold went into politics, you know, so that was his thing. Oh yeah, that's a, that's when fucking uh, when WWF hit the wall. Uh, like all of a sudden, name man she wanted to run in politics, and all of a sudden it was ready G for the rest of fucking. Uh, even though she continued to like fail, not get the political job she was trying to get, she just still kept it all clean and shit. Very Stacy. Very yeah, Stacey. I mean, she she went to Vincent Mann. She's like, look what you're gonna do to my political career. They're gonna dig up that commercial of Sting fucking beating the shit out of a little kid, and they're gonna use that against me. They're Two little monster. kids. That's a lo- Two that, little. Two little kids. I love that one. That commercial. <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. What were they thinking with that? Is genius. It's so funny. He just fucking knock on the door. Hey, kids! And he just starts beating the shit out of him for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> fucking great. Genius. Pure genius. That's like something we had to have made up yeah. in another life. <laughs> like, just fucking beat the fuck out of him. No one's gonna care. And no it one does did. Feel like no a, one did. It, does, it was it funny. Feels like a fe- when you watch it, like, the first time I watched it in modern times. I, I bet like, it's I just I dr- because I, the I older this. guys, like, I had to watch it with my dad. He's probably like, that's me. That's me with my son right now, beating the fuck out of him. <laughs> like I can relate to that. Hell yeah. What were you gonna say, Boo? Oh, I just the times are changing. I when I watched it, it felt like a fever dream. Like I thought I dreamt this commercial. Like I didn't realize this actually existed when you know I saw it on the YouTube's. <laughs> it was beautiful. I don't even know where the WDs at now. Like how, what audience they're gearing themselves? Are they still PG or what do they do? I think so. It's Apparently lame. they're doing better now, and is now they have Roman Reigns, and everybody's like, "This is what they should have done with him from the beginning," because like he sucks at everything else. And this is actually—I haven't watched it forever. But don't they have serious competition now with AEW because they've sort of come out of nowhere and maybe, you know, because they—they they basically it was Chris Jericho that helped launch that. He was the first guy they inked to deal with, and he was enough pull and now you've got all these other superstars that have gone over to AEW WCW style and you know they're they're playing arenas and stuff and I don't have cable TV anymore but I think they're they have their program on weekly on some network so or why it was on sci-fi or something what AEW uh WWF I think oh WWE well, let's yeah. see Plemke, usually Hollywood aging is something that happens within fictional TV shows, i.e. 30-year-olds playing 50-year-olds with very little wrinkles, almost never real life, and also the age gap for marriages. It's it's like um, guys like Robert Downey Jr. in those Iron Man movies, he's still a leading man in his 50s. That's that's all, guys. Jason State, how many women are leading women in their 50s? No. The leading men <laughs> in their 50s are still at, seen as if they're 30, but wives are always played by people 25 like. years younger. Like in Beef Oven, our boy yeah. was 50 years old and his, oh, his yeah. wife character was like 40 something, 30 or 40. Uh, no, she was definitely 30s. Uh, Bonnie Hunt, yeah, Groden, dude, he was old. He he mm-hmm. carried it well, but yeah, um, that's just the way it goes. But in real life, though, if you were a 50 something year old guy and you were married to like a 25 or a 30 year old, you would be the talk of the town. Like if it was a small town, everybody would be gossiping about you. But they all, but those people that are gossiping about you are probably all watching, you know, Iron Man or Jason State the movies. Like, yeah, we love it. We want to ride that. It's dick. really weird too because like the MILF subgenre is huge. And you're like you think they would be like green lighting like more, like thirty or forty year old female. I mean, it's what I'm saying is they could have that in a movie where the woman's much older. But only if it's pointed out in the plot, like they, like his friends make fun of it, right? It has to be something pertinent to the plot, like oh, she's she she could, she could be your mom, dude. But they don't even like bat an eye when it's guys, because it's just by like you said, by standard, the leading man can be in his forties, fifty, and his wife is some hot twenty year old. It's not even questioned. It's not even like uh, brought up. Um, 
just to clarify about that SpongeBob video, I guess I didn't I didn't catch that. Who MTV can... aired a game mod with him and other characters dancing to Blink One Eight Two. Check it out in the group Zach. Oh yes. What's the best Blink One Eight Two? Aaron did not fucking grow up listening to the, the to the Blink. He did not no. blink it up. Mm -mm. <clears throat> I mean, they were popular when I was. What, what they probably well, they hit big when I was in like seventh eighth grade, and they were still big in ninth grade. You know that few year gap. They were really big at the same time Corn was. And I don't really know if those types of fan bases were divided, but I was I I was a Corn kid. But I didn't really like all that music. I liked uh, heavier stuff. Well, again, um, uh, very uh, fucking, you were very uh, against fucking uh, just uh, equal opportunity back then, Aaron. You got to fucking give equal opportunity to the fucking the pop music with the punk influences. Open-mindedness comes with age. Josh James, he's asking Crypto CryptoCon this year. No, I think crypt Crypto's going on right now. I saw pictures of Billy Zane at at CryptoCon, um, taking photos boy, with Zane. people and stuff. He's a cool yeah, dude. him and his him and his sister. Yeah, listen to your boy Billy Zane. He's a cool, cool guy. dude. <laughs> well, no, I I want to change that uh, for the next year though. It just was impossible to plan because nobody even, they didn't even know if those things were going to get canceled or not. Everybody was just sort of planning them just in case they could go forward this in 2021 and the shit sort of got cleared up enough in the nick of time to where most of them are still going on. So, next year I would like to do it. Not Crypticon. I kind of think those guys can eat a dick. Guys are amazing. They stole our fucking gas mask logo for that one year. Yeah. And that's why it didn't happen. Fucking see, that, that's poetic justice. Yeah, I'd, I'd like uh, for you guys to come out to the ones out here. We got some really cool ones. But anyway, I have to jump off here because I got to go make dinner now. It's it's almost 830 over here. So I don't know. Are you guys going to stay on? That's totally cool. I just might have to bow out. Whatever yeah, Max done, baby. All right. Bow wow. We're going to bow how stuck in our heads over here. Bow wow. Remember that rumor in high school that bow wow got raped by like one of Snoop Dogg's bodyguards or Snoop Dogg's friends? Remember hearing that? Yeah. Little bow wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you heard it, that means that was a rumor that gained traction because it was just nationwide. Damn, that, that sucks. sucks, man. Yeah. It just, and it, we all believed it. Like, shit. It was, you know. The internet wasn't totally rampant then, so you couldn't really debunk something. It might go around online, but you couldn't get enough credible sources telling you. I, like, they didn't have Twitter for Bow Wow to go on Twitter and be like, Hey guys, my asshole's fine. Don't believe the hoax. <laughs> you know, I mean, they didn't have that. Or the fucking uh, kid from Wonder Years to go on and say, I'm not Marilyn Manson. Oh yeah, that was a really big one too. Really big. Hey Josh, he says, hit me up for a commentary soon. Dude, you want to come on this weekend? Oh, yeah. Open, open ticket. We haven't had John in a while, man. We'd like to do it. Fucking a Clifford, problem child on AIDS or fucking on acid. Yeah, on we, you wanna, do you want to do Clifford? We're we're paying tribute to Charles Grodin, and that's yeah, it's problem child on crack. I don't want to say AIDS because that's not really relevant. I didn't why. mean to say AIDS. I don't know why like I said that. It's like a sickly like it's, version. AIDS like, isn't a drug you take. <laughs> what if what if we can harness AIDS and like oh it's the best high you'll get so you. it's uh, basically problem childs on AIDS so in this version Charles Grodin fucks the kid and gives I don't understand fucking Blake One Eighty Two writes a song about it. Uh, Josh James is asking if we've done Batman. Did we do Batman Eighty Nine? I don't know. Dude, I, we can't remember anymore. We've done Batman forever. I know we did Batman Returns with you. I want to say the only one we haven't done is the fourth one. I don't think we've done 89, actually. I I'm mean, not sure, though. Oh, I won't do Batman v Superman, Plumkey. I won't be a part of it. Goat likes that movie. We'd have to have Goat on. Goat's an anomaly, man. Like, some of the movies he likes, they, they just... How could you like it? <laughs> Very Chad. He's got his own fucking baby. His own fucking fight he dances to the beat of his own girl. Yeah, yeah, I know. It, you know, the timing could be cool. He said Keaton making a Batman return via the Flash, yeah. You know what, though? I'm totally expecting him to pop up for all of one minute. 
Like, what if it's just part of, like, some montage where the Flash is going through realms and he ends up in the 89 Burton era realm and we just barely get, like, a, a one scene with the Burton and then he's gone, you know, and then he's back to the, the main storyline, you know? I don't is, – is he expected to really be a crucial part of the plot? I don't know. I'll actually be pretty bummed if Mark Hoppus doesn't beat the cancer. I'd be really bummed. I'd be that yeah. fucking... I try not to think. I don't want to dwell on stuff like that. It's it's depressing. Because sometimes it just feels like we're just killing time before we inevitably get cancer. Exactly. You know what I mean? And you, you get stressed over life stuff and all these things you want and we're, your hey, dream. We're, we're killing time before time kills us. Put that on a t-shirt. Fucking that's, hey. Somebody had to have said that by now. You could, I keep, <laughs> you could try so hard and and achieve so much, and you could be in a band like Blink One Eight Two, or you could be a Warren Zevon, and just you get cancer, and you're a human being like everybody else, and it's just over. It's kind of it's kind of deep to think about. Very low T, very non heinous. Yeah, no, yeah, I, Josh is saying I like how he's putting it out there. That, that live chat I was telling them about earlier, that stream he did, it was very, it was cool. It was really cool how he was just sort of approaching it head on and answering everybody's questions and stuff like that. And he was sort of straddling this line of having a sense of humor, but also being a realist with it. But, I don't know, he's saying deep end episode. Dude, I feel like cancer gets talked about on all our streams usually <laughs> we just talk it always goes back to cancer we are a cancer yeah. this is sweet is this uh are, do they actually put the sub bosses before Shao Kahn or are they just randomly thrown in there no I'm the I'm Kintaro oh okay yeah you said to play with the boss so I started playing with the boss Internal. Ass cancer. My dad died of ass cancer, Josh. Yeah, it's a thing. Fuck me. I'll probably, I'll probably get another uh, colonoscopy, and I think I'm good for a few years. I'll have to get another one in a few years. They should make a Mortal Kombat character called Re Regardo, and he's highly regarded. There you go. Hey, later, Josh. Have a good one, man. We love you too. We'll, we gotta have you on soon. Hell yeah. We'll talk about it. Big Chad. The writer for that Batman 89 sequel comic confirmed that Batman Forever and Batman and Robin are no longer canon. Well, good. Batman for never should be the next one. Forever, ever, for never, ever, ever. All right. Oh, I'm going to get out of here. I really got to get, I got to get to making some dinner. I haven't eaten anything all day. Legit. Fucking, you need to hire, you need to fucking fire that chick that played and hire them. Hey, really quick, just because, I mean, I guess I would have talked about it off air, but we'll talk about it on here. No, I mean, I'm ready to go all in on that Prime membership. Seriously, it's great. And it, it was just, it's fate, you know, $99 for the whole year. That's, that's a steal. I mean, we should do it. I just want to figure out. So someone's showing me how to get logged in because if, if I can just pay with like a PayPal, I'll just use the revival PayPal. That works. Otherwise, I was going to say if they don't use PayPal, I don't know if we all can access it or if, if it makes more sense for whoever's going to be in there most to just like have we got to figure out what source of payment we want to use to pay for it. That's that's all I'm saying. PayPal, I would feel good. I don't know how I feel about having like. A bank account or an, an open forum you know that i don't even know really well um so we just got to figure out how we want to do it but i want to do it if i can figure it out and they'll do paypal that's that's how i want to do it otherwise if somebody thinks it's better who's going to be in there more often than other people wants to put it on their account and i can just send them the money i would do that too we just need to figure out how we're going to do it but i don't see why we can't get this going for next week you know Thoughts? Oh, yeah. No. We just I am not fucking business minded or anything. I'm the wrong guy. That's I don't see why we couldn't I, I don't see why I couldn't link it to the PayPal. That should be okay. But Yeah, I think they take PayPal. Because that would be the same I you know, as long as it's a PayPal thing, I feel safe. 
and it's not even just like you guys are having I, I don't trust any websites and in, in, in credit cards I'm always like uh, weird about giving just anything my credit card or my bank account so but if I can do PayPal can I just log in can I just go to a Streamlabs website yeah, just and go to log the website the I told you to go to it and sign it up all right well Ish. Zach you'll have to tell me you'll have to tell me like the passwords and stuff you'll have to send them to me don't tell them here usually the same thing baby all yeah. right so I'll dick around and let me see I gotta work on a forty dollar art commission then head to the dreaming what is the dreaming he's saying later dudes I don't know what the dreaming is. Dreaming is uh, the new he's hip going way to, of he's saying going he's going to, to sleep, bed, man. Oh, oh, well, he capitalized he like has it's to a band. He finish his artwork, and then he's going to band or band, going to sleep, baby. Okay. Well, I feel you, man. I'm right there with you. I almost wanted to check out that fucking empty man because Zach was talking about it, and then I was looking on some forums, and everybody was talking shit on it. I'm like, ah, this doesn't look like what people it? like it very much. Really? <laughs> what is it called? Yeah, uh, the empty man. Well, you know, What's I was that? seeing a lot. A lot of what I was seeing was it's way too long, and the first twenty minutes are really interesting, and they pull you in. But the rest of the movie is like, what the fuck happened to that first twenty minutes? I don't know. I don't. I'm not trying to take everybody's words for it, but I just saw like one giant forum thread where it's just people dogpiling. Was on it? Was it. it like fucking uh, like big film buff type snobs, or was it the horror? Community? The horror community one that. That I think it was Killer Flicks that Facebook group. Oh. You know, I don't know. What's it called? But anyway, oh, the Empty Man, what is which it? just sounds like it's just some horror movie. It, it sounds it's like it's an HBO. <laughs> it's an HBO. It's not like the Bye Bye Man, some bullshit fucking horror movie like that. Oh, I want to. There's another one that's out with a clown that crawls all over the place. What? Um. <laughs> Like he ha he has no walking capabilities. He has to crawl around his hand and needs scaring kids. I can't remember what they call it. It just came out. Scary clown man. That one's cool. Come here. We should make. Oh, never mind. This kind of reminds me of classic Fatal Fury stage. You know the train, the Terry Bogart stage. If you guys ever watched the uh, played the. It kind of reminds Geo me stuff. of smelling an ass. Kind of reminds, reminds me of a pussy. Smelling a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great fucking. That's a great album. Everybody listen to that tonight. Fucking. All right. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I, I, I really have to hop off, hop out of here now. Exactly. I don't even know if it's a great album. I just remember listening to it when I was a kid. But we Mac, I think, fucking finished this game eight times now. You said. So it's up to you, babe. If you want to go, or just end it, babe. I'm trying to figure out what this fucking movie is. The Empty Man. It's like a HBO movie, right? No. HBO Max. Or it's it's on there. It's on there. Oh. Uh, well, they might, I mean, it might be Warner Brothers. Yeah, I think maybe it's one that they got early. But a lot of people have seen it somehow. I think I read it was like two hours and twenty minutes. Like, why? Why? Why not? I get turned off when I see those run times these days because, like, because, like I said, ninety nine. Because you're normie, dude. Ninety five oh. percent of um, movies don't earn that runtime. The movie's called Separation. What? And it has like this meme-looking clown dude in it, and he crawls all oh, over the fucking place. It looks movie. creepy as fuck. Where is that streaming? Ah, uh, I'm not sure, but I know it just released. Name one long movie that doesn't earn it, Aaron. Name one. Um, most of them. <laughs> Name one, baby. <laughs> I can't. It's hard think. to hate it. It's hard to. It, but it's all of them. It's like all of it. It's hard. To like uh, it's all of them. We can't name it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's all of them. Though I swear, it's all of them. Well, again, uh, Midsummer, you know, it earns it, baby. You say, it oh doesn't. yeah, that's like the number one. I should that should have been on the tip of my tongue. But I finished by I finished Vice Principals last night. That was a fun show. It's only two seasons. 
And it was like it didn't get canceled or anything. It was it was intentionally a limited run. Like as soon as it got green lit, it's gonna be two seasons, eighteen total episodes. So you get a complete arc, and it was a lot of fun. I liked it. And they're thirty minute episodes. How big is the arc? Is it is it, is it fucking uh, does it have a goliosis to the back? Is it a big a fucking arc? Like how big is it? Yeah, uh, the fucking yeah. back arc. Anyway. Anyway, all right, I've well, only got two more p people to beat. All right, so I'll stick around. <laughs> two more people. Now, uh, Mag is basically a genius because he's just going to continuously die a year <laughs> all night, but it's still two people. <laughs> now he's Kentaro, man. He's overpowered. I'm a fucking did you guys guy. Did you guys happen to watch... Well, you, I don't think you care about this shit, Zach, at all. But yeah, the... They had the Comic Con at home, and I just watched the YouTube videos of the NECA shit and like all the stuff they're releasing. So we're finally getting Casey Jones Ultimate with Elias Codius's likeness and head swaps and all that stuff. So that's cool. And then what else? Oh, there's they're releasing a Halloween two two pack. So it's it's Myers, kind of like the one they already released by himself, but it's also got a really cool Loomis with it. And but the Myers is, is different. That was pretty cool. Hey, and remember it, whenever that guy showed up at the con to try to kill the Green Ranger? What if there was like a new word for people like that? We comic cozies, comic cozies. <laughs> well, a comic a kamikaze would kill himself too. He wasn't trying to kill himself. He might after he does clever it. Clever play right, on Comic Con. Maybe he had plans of doing that. I guess we don't know. They apprehended him because I think once again he was one of those dummies that promoted on like, like snapchat or something they, they need to make a neck a figure of him yeah i was thinking that was gonna get way more laughs than it got <laughs> it's kind of no, dark it's that's really dark, dark. Make a comic book. here's the neck a figure of the guy who tried to fuck him. That, can you imagine Nika just putting out a, a, a line of those, like a Mark David They have Chapman. a double pack of them, like fucking have him in his Green Ranger suit, his... and he's, it's another one of him. You, you open up open up his leather jacket, and you got so many holsters for all of his little interchangeable weapons. No, it's like, oh, Nika, it's, like, it's like Nika putting out a line with Mark David Chapman, and then, I guess, Charlie Manson, or like uh, Amy Fisher. Just in bad taste. Well, Amy Fisher didn't kill anybody, right? Yeah. That's fucking uh, that's uh, the uh, fucking Sam Fisher's daughter from fucking uh, fucking uh, Splinter Cell, Styles, right? Si Sight and filter, right? Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell. Splinter oh, you're Cell. right. You're right. Yeah. Michael Ironside. Gabe Logan was Sight and filter. I wish I wish they would remake that game. Classic. I watched uh, watched our boy Michael Ironside in Prom Night Two. Fairly recently. On the Joe Bobs. Did Zach disappear? <laughs> he's, just, he's just laying there. Jacking off. He's got his dick out. It's really weird. Oh, yeah. With the, his flashlight. Hey, oh, yeah. you still using the flashlight? Uh, still smacking your flashlight around? <laughs> Getting some cab money? All the time. Cab fare. All the time, baby. All has, the time. It, has anybody you know like found it? Like stumbled across it? No. Does anybody know you have it? Like, outside of... <laughs> yeah, he's probably you know, trying to watch it. You know it, what but... I was thinking? Like, fucking, uh... uh the, actually, uh, I... I uh, a masturbation story on, uh... Fucking, the uh, Latest Mac and Zach, uh... Patreon episode. If you want to hear that, very chat. Do it. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. I don't remember. It's on there. You gotta listen to it. Oh, I thought he was gonna tell us. That shit. Just kidding. You want me to tell it? You want me to say it again? Go for it. No, I mean, is it, it's on the actual episode? It is. If you want to, how long is it going to take? Is it going to take us past this game, or should we just say that? No, I'm, saying, I'm telling everybody to go listen to it. What are you talking uh, about? You can't go listen to it. That's right. All right. He's got to beat Shao Kahn anyway. It's official. You suck. We'll see about that, Khan. Oh, they made Khan looks tiny in this. That's like MK2 Khan. Right. I like how oh, he's so God. massive. He's massive in part three, but they just took the I mean, fucking he's still same. The, he's the same size as Kentaro, so I mean. I guess you're right. They're zoomed out. That's all it is. Technically, like, he, that's pretty big. I feel conned. Yeah. I feel <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's funny because in conned. three, it looks like it looks like they just took the same 
model and they just blew up the the JPEG. Oh, yeah. Is that your Why? best? Is that your best? Fight! Fight! I was blown you away after. I was stomping on him. You're nothing. God after damn playing it. the sit, after mainly playing the 16-bit Mortal Kombat threes and shit over and over again, when I finally played the PS1 version of MK3 and stuff like that, when he, he had more, more vernacular going on, that's when he says like it's official. You suck. He didn't say that shit in the the 16-bit Finish him. Games. Dun, dun, dun. Like, Fatality. What about that? What about that nudality code that didn't really exist? The Fergality. Got all our hopes up. The nudality. That was like the big rumor. Kind of like the Laura Croft nude code. That was rumored. There was the there was the rumor of the nudality, basically. <laughs> if a Laura Croft nude code existed back then, like fucking, that would have ruined that franchise. Like, imagine if it, like if it was all in our imagination. So I mean, they're all on mods. <laughs> but that was the best days before the internet ruined all like those types of rumors and stuff. They would just go around word of mouth in, in the schoolyard and stuff. So that was big. The nudality, there was the, the nudity code where you'd fight nude in Mortal Kombat and you could see Sonya's titties. Remember in like, like what was the where they started doing they call it Harakiri. They they they, they like uh a pronounce... like deception or something. Yeah, where they yeah. Where you kill yourself. Would you kill What's yourself? The, you can do that in what? these. They put them in all the Mugans. <laughs> What's the actual way you pronounce that? It's like completely different. Hari I thought it was Hari Kiri. Hari Kiri. No. Was... <laughs> Apparently that's like epically badly pronounced and every, it's like known as being like really fucking hilarious. So, like Harai, I don't know. I, yeah, I forget. He, her, he, 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 it's probably Hari Kitty. Hari Kitty. Hari Kitty. Hello Kitty. Hari Kitty. Hari Kitty. Uh, yeah, Hari Kitty. Well, the game's done. I gotta hop off here, so we should probably. Yeah, but I, I just got like eight more characters to to do. Oh, fuck that! Just, just eight more. Done. Oh, yeah. Mac, you could do the honors, man. Close it out. We'll let Zach close it out since he was late. Bye. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> All right, bye later. <laughs> and uh, thanks for.